Fill her up. You're listening to the Gas Digital Network. Everybody listening to the thing is, I'm Shannon. Thanks for coming back to join us. Do you like ghosts and ghosts? Do you have fights and fights and? Do you have bad days days and? Do you like ghosts and ghosts? And? Oh, the thing is, oh, oh, the thing is, oh, oh, the thing is, oh, oh. Hey guys, this is Shannon. You're listening to The Thing Is. Thanks for coming back to join us. I just realized I didn't put my glasses on. I'm going to do it one second. I'm here as always with my hilarious co-host comedian, Mike Figs. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was just I banged out like 20 push-ups in those <laughs> last two days. So I'm just kind of just, you know, I'm just kind of fucking just hanging, you know? I was, was going to ask, uh, what a great screenshot that's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> two hot jack dudes. He thought I was Muslim. I said I was fasting and he was like, for Ramadan? I, I mean, it's like, not no. unbelievable. That you would be Muslim. I'm a dirty Italian kid. Maybe I, you know, maybe I should go full muzzy. I think I'm going to go Muslim. I don't think you can say that word. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Joining us today, uh, it is the drummer of Generation Kill, Rob Ewells. Hello. Is it the first time your name has been said correctly on this network? <laughs> I don't know. I think maybe. so. It's the first time it's been said correctly right now. Okay. In this hour since I got here. <laughs> That's something. How I do just you spell know it? Ewells? I... Like Ewlock? E-L-L-S. Oh, cool. I can spell you a lot. There's a lot of extraneous letters involved. So. It's a good name, dude. It's a solid name. <laughs> Thanks. Um, if you guys are longtime fans of this show or the SDR show, you already know who Rob is. <laughs> and I feel like if you don't, you have to kind of go back. You have to go back and watch to be caught up and brought to now. But the listeners, I feel like, are very excited to see you. <laughs> okay, that's good. I think you know Hell everybody yeah, man. in the area. You've been a mystery. Scene. To me, you've been like this unicorn mystery. <laughs> and I'm happy to have you in my presence. I can tell the fans, especially the audio listeners, this guy smells good, looks good, <laughs> nice guy. Thought I was Muslim, which means he's like, you know, very careful, you know, of what he says to people, which is nice. I like this guy. His knee just touched my knee. <laughs> and it was and it was an embrace, a warm embrace. Shannon, I noticed you're throwing shoulder today. I also had shoulder out yesterday. Oh. I did. I just go to our first segment. <laughs> I want to put my glasses on. Can you no, guys talk don't. For Why would you put your glasses on? Don't. You look beautiful, Shannon. Because it's a, that's like a podcasting, Shannon, with glasses. You want these glasses? So it makes no. you look more studious. Maybe. Oh, good word. I want to go. Get, you guys talk for one second. Okay. I want to get my glasses. All right. So you're, is that is that vodka? No, this is water, baby oh, boy. Water. I'm trying to get. You know, I'm tra I'm training for this 4K. You know, I'm Iron Man competition that I joined. I see. You know what I'm saying? You know what it's like to be. You know. Well, it's funny because you're, you know, not Muslim, but I was thinking <laughs> if you were Muslim and you were drinking. Yeah, you're like, what the fuck kind of shit is this? Well, I just saw this thing. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's called soaking. Soaking? Yeah, so I saw this, you know. Oh, it's an this, Amish people thing, right? No, I, I mean, it might be, but it was like a, a Mormon thing, and oh, they were yeah, interviewing yeah. these two, and she was like, well, if you're going to soak, you need a shaker, and I was like, soaking, shaker. So apparently they, they, the guy puts it in, but he doesn't move, mm -hmm. and then they have a shaker who, like, shakes the the bed yeah dude Sorry. you are too strong <laughs> take it easy ralph this so, is an expensive table that ralph bought jeez louise yeah my bad it was hot but, that was hot yeah so and the, they pay someone to shake the bed apparently which i think if you if you are willing to worship a god you think is stupid enough to fall for that not being <laughs> are we allowed to say fucking you can say anything all right yeah not it's not muzzy <laughs> <laughs> you can't say, yeah. not on ramadan you can't say fucking on ramadan so anyway so i don't know what was it pete davidson's movie i think Oh, or, uh, or his, his show, his, his yeah, kiss. right, his show where, where he pulls they his back. This. Yeah, where Brad Garrett is like his family friend or something. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's not. No, it, it had nothing to do no, with right. shaking. But, but it he, was like, the same he thing. He pulls yes. his back, and so he's like, he asks Pete to like move him. Yeah, he gets a yeah. hooker, and yeah. they go into the uh, like the hotel bed, and mm -hmm. then he asks Pete Davidson to shake him. So it's kind of yeah, right, not not exactly. What was her name again? She was on. She was on oh, the show. Um, Shout out. Oh wow, Lynn Lynn Coplitz. Shout out her. Which is amazing. Yeah, like Speaking of past guests on the show, I have to give a shout out. Uh, Brian Scalaro, who was on the show very recently, mm -hmm. just released his special. And so you guys should go check it out. It's called I Don't Know Who I Am Either. Very so funny. Go, Super funny. Go check Definitely it out. check it out. But anyway, so that would be kind of, yeah, I know. Like, what? Like, oh, that's going to be okay? Yeah, yeah. Like, oh. No, she won't know. She'll have no idea. She I wonder if it know. feels good. Maybe for the woman. That could be like a new kink or something. It's got to be good. so much shaking, though, for anything to ever happen. <laughs> Is it one guy on top I guess shaking? if you've never actually had sex, Maybe. that's probably a big deal. Yeah, but know? then it's only for the guy. 
Like that's yeah. never gonna, nothing's gonna ever happen for the chick in that situation. I don't know if they care. Do they care? Like in that, not. that world, do they care if anything happens for the chick? Not at all. Probably not. But that's if, also like Jewish people that like on Fridays or whatever their day is, where they're like they have a friend come over and turn the electricity <laughs> on. Or it's <laughs> like you're, you're, tri- you're tricking God. Please. What he yeah. did it? What we? You know, <laughs> wasn't me. Uh, yeah. You want to play Nintendo? We're gonna have to call Clarence <laughs> to put it on for you. Um, do you want to do a quick recap of the Power Hour yesterday? Yeah, we had a good time. Um, I think my tolerance is getting. I think both of our tolerances are getting better. Well, we we did a better job this time. We drank For less. Sure. Yeah. But um, did. what was your BAC at the end? One point. I'm, I'm sorry. It's zero. Po- one one. Right. Point one three or one yeah. one or something like that. Yeah. So our the guest that we had, which is Zach Amico, so the fans of the show know who that is. He's big, and after doing the entire power hour, his blood alcohol content was point oh four. Yeah, it's impossible. It seems impossible. He cracked. We had like three shots of whiskey. We probably had four white claws each or three white claws each. But yeah, it's in a matter like of an hour. Yeah, it was just when you so say weird. big. Do you mean rotund? Just he's a big boy. He's thick, just like the walking boy. chubby, a ch- chubby. He's a chunkster. How tall is he? It's like my height, five nine maybe. Okay, I'm sorry, six two. Just take a guess. What are we talking? Like how much? <sighs> How much does he weigh? <laughs> I, feel, I just feel mean. I feel mean. He's like he's like he's like three sixty maybe. Oh, all right. So was that too much? No, he's like three sixty. He's a big boy. He's a, he's very right. he's a large guy. But I know something was big wrong with that. Hands. He's got yeah, he's big beefy <laughs> nub. There, oh, there he goes. He's oh a big, yeah. He's a big daddy. He's a big thick daddy. He's a big he's a big guy. He's a big thick daddy. He got a nice cock on him too. But to know that legally, wow. I've seen it. So <laughs> I he, literally the first time I did the spook show, he pulled out. He was like, "Have you ever seen a prince?" We were talking about Prince Alberts. And I was like, I've never seen one. And he goes, hold up. Whoop. Whipped it oh. out. Hmm. Nice, nice wang for a big guy. Well, you know, okay. Yeah. I have I have avoided it, I think. <laughs> I think I've avoided it. But he does like naked roast battles a lot. Yes. So he's naked a lot. He is the naked roast battle. This is all hitting me very <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Was What are we trying to figure out? <laughs> oh, oh, I was just talking about his blood alcohol oh, yeah, level. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mine was like 0.2 or so. Yes, Jorge? Uh, Rob, can you put the mic a little bit closer to your face? Oh, yeah, sure. Sorry. My By the way, usually it's singers that are the worst on the mics. Usually. Well, I can't get... <laughs> it's okay. You can you can blame the setup. I'll yeah, tell Rob. So Do you need help? I'll push you in. <laughs> you want me to push you in? Shake you up a little bit? I got you, Daddy. Get, get some soaking there on. There you go. There you go. Um, were you guys doing some sort of bet or something out in the lobby before we started the show? <laughs> For what? Who's jacked? Who's more jacked? Or, or like a, a contest of some sort. You can move their pecs the fastest? Or push a push-up is what I'm leading you to say. Am I wearing a push-up bra, you said? <laughs> so what are you guys going to do a push-up contest? No, no, I'm done with push-ups. I can't do anything. Jorge came in and said that you guys were talking about doing push-ups. Jorge no, Harrington? we were just having small talk. We were talking about Muslims and stuff. We were having a nice time. I, I do distinctly remember hearing Fig say the words, Hey, I man, give up. if you can do more than five push-ups, you'll probably beat me. I think he said three. We'll just yeah. flexing in three. the beginning of the episode, I'm, my muscles are exhausted. Do you think he can't do more than five push-ups? I know he can. I know he can. But, you know, he's going to come on here and try to out-alpha me <laughs> on my co-show. I'm just sitting here, dude. <laughs> I know, I'm just kidding. I'm just he's like the here. nicest guy. I broke the table, but he's like the nicest guy. <laughs> That's not break shit on accident. <laughs> Okay, we're going to get into the segments now. Typically, the first question we ask new guests on the show is for you to tell us a story about either your worst date experience or oh, yeah. weirdest sexual experience. <laughs> you could have given me a heads up. <laughs> oh, you know that. what? You're right. This is my fault. What? This is my fault. You didn't tell I me just that. realized it right now because <laughs> I just assumed that you know the segments of the show. No, I, and I didn't. You're the first guest that I didn't send the rundown to, and that's completely my fault. Yeah, I didn't know that. Can, can, can I think while yes. we're, and then give me a minute? Can we, yeah. Can we? Okay. Can this be the second thing that you you embarrass me about? <laughs> yes. Do you want to? Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what? I bet you can think of the second story more quickly. Okay, I'm going to tell you the whole rundown right now. All right. So it's bad date, weird sexual experience. <laughs> oh, f- so that's the first. You can pick either or. You, you can, can do pick. either or. I just <laughs> thought I just thought you ever thought of the first, the, the other one. Okay. This, this is. Um. This is my fault. No, no, no. I you just... could hit her if you want. To hit. <laughs> this is. <laughs> I'm just a cuck at this point. I just want to watch you guys <laughs> go at it. I'm the you shaker. Do that later. Yeah. Oh, you're the shaker. <laughs> I'm the shaker. Are you getting like a hundred bucks a, per shake? Thirty five, but I'll do. But it's fine. It's bargain. Okay. What a bargain. <laughs> He's a bargain basement shaker. So, um. Second <clears throat> segment is a fight story. If you've been in more than one fight, then the most memorable fight. And the third is uh, scary things, which is um. Uh, like a, a ghost, a ghost, something, something paranormally related. All right. Those are the three segments. All right. Did you think of the bad date? 
or well, weird sex. <laughs> I'm a funny, funny bad okay. mixture of sex thing, okay. but it's kind of hard to set up because it's long. It's, it's a long thing. So uh, this place that I was staying at, um, I mean, we're talking a really long time ago, and um, there was a shelf right above my bed. Mm-hmm. There was candles. And I had like one of those CD player alarm clock radio things that would put like a, uh oh, yeah, put a CD in it. And um, we were in the middle of, you know, it. <clears throat> and um, intercourse. Yeah. So I was getting close and to or ejaculating. Yes. Yeah, so I was getting close to ejaculating. So when I pulled out, she grabbed me by the dick. Nice. And pulled my dick to her face, effectively pulling me headfirst into the shelf. So hot wax went everywhere. And ejaculate went everywhere also. Nice. A river of ejaculate. And um, <laughs> so, you know, uh, and it was all in her face and her eyes, including the wax. It was just a, it was a, you know, you're coming, you got hot wax all over everything. It was kind of a, a mess. Um, was anybody seriously injured? There was no hospital visit, no stitches, no burn unit, nothing like that. But, that's, that's overall yeah. a good thing. And the finishing got to happen. Like this kind yeah, of... but it was, you know, talk about coitus interruptus. I don't know if that's what that means, but it feels like that would be. <laughs> that seems right. Is it a different from, thing? From Harry Potter. Spelling <laughs> 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 I was like, I'm still thinking about this girl covered with cum and wax. Yeah, hot wax. What kind of candles? <laughs> I don't know. It was like one of those. Um... Traditional family planning method in which the man completely removes his. Oh, it's pulling out. Got it. Oh, nice. My thing's Yeah, I was doing out. a little bit exploriosis too. Your headphones? Yeah. Do you want to switch to these? What happened? You can't hear? Yeah. Oh. It's oh, funny because like that's always where Big J sits, and he also always has a problem in that spot. Yeah, it's just cut out. That's why. Right, I was you can just you can leave it plugged in there. Oh, good point. Should I'm a drummer, good? right? <laughs> Damn. Well, that's good. It's good to know <laughs> that she was able to right. fish your wang. That means you, that's good. It means you got it. Well, know, I mean, nice it was size. a long time ago. I mean, but the the details have gotten fuzzy a little. Yeah. But it was definitely, and and I've run into her. I mean, years and years later, at like a bodybuilding competition, and I was like, "Oh, hey!" And immediately, <laughs> I just I started laughing, and I'm pretty sure she knew why I was laughing, and then she kind of laughed too, and it was like a whole. Was thing. that had you guys had sex before? That? Yeah. And we after had. it. It didn't last long. The whole thing. I mean, I don't mean the sex. I mean mm-hmm. the whole. It was like a someone I knew from before. I don't know, it's a, there's a lot surrounding the whole thing, but the the meat and potatoes of it was that with the hot wax on the. Was know. she jacked? Was she like like a bodybuilder lady? I mean, not when that happened, but I mean, a few years later, I guess she started to get more into that kind of thing. Nice. So, what does a jacked woman's vagina look like? <laughs> a basset hound's mouth. <laughs> nice. No. <laughs> Take away from our sponsor, everybody. Um, <laughs> that's, that's, that's awesome. I mean, I guess. I just I don't keep know. thinking of that really... movie. There's a movie out right now with this jacked woman and the girl from Twilight, and she's like super jacked, and there's like a lot of sex in the movies, like wild. So I don't know why I just that just. I have no idea what you're idea. talking about. I'm sorry. I'm just horny in a weird way, <laughs> and I'm trying not to drink. So just... What? Um, we need one. Can we have one more cup, please? For Hamilton? what? Oh, for you guys. Uh, and you. Oh, there's two in here. No, no, no. I'm good. I got my water. Um, it's thanks. Ramadan. Leave them alone. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> yeah. Assalamu alaikum. Is it Love Lies Bleeding? Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Kristen Stewart movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it, it, I, it looks kind of interesting, but I don't know. But anyways, it's just, I'm thinking of like jack people banging and stuff. But she wasn't <laughs> jacked when you first banged her. No, Knocked I mean the that. the candles I, out. That was, yeah, that was years before any of that. We were kind of younger. And it's just one thing led to another before you know it. I when you put when you shared that picture, I remembered uh, us doing like a toy or noit segment on Real Ass Podcast with her because she's like leaning towards dude kind of. Yeah, she's yoked like crazy yoked. But Kristen Stewart, what I'm talking about both of them. They yeah. both get the other girl was like fucking like crazy like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Kind and of they're together. They're together. It's, not, it's like I don't I I don't know if the movie is is fiction or nonfiction because I've seen a clip where she like Whoa, like grows like the Hulk at one point. <laughs> And then there's a lot of like hot lesbian sex, and she's got like a fat clitoris, looks like a lima bean. Yeah. 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 So I want to check it out. <laughs> so that was the point of my question. If you like dig chicks with where they're, I'm not, I'm not into that. Clits. No, believe it or not. I mean, I competed, I was a bodybuilder, I turned pro, I did all that, and I, you know, that was just not my thing. How, how fast do you think it will take me to get jacked if I really dedicate myself <clears throat> to it? I'm, I'm I mean, pre diabetic as we speak. Oh. Uh, I mean,. <laughs> You could have warned me about that. So I could have, like, come up with a plan. Usually, yeah. By usually the way, not up with a whole fitness plan. Um, 
I mean, you could, you know, can make progress yeah. in a couple of months, couple two or three months. months yeah. You could, you know, trim down and, and add some lean muscle mass to your frame. Can I drink it. and still get jacked? <sighs> Well, yes. when you say jacked, yes. I mean you can get. I big, just want to. I just want to fucking get my face thin. I want to fucking get rid of my love. So you're handles, talking about getting tits. leaner and getting more, you know. Like my cut. tits. I've never felt my tits on my body, and now like if I tuck my shirt in, I'm like, looking at my tits. <laughs> hey, you you nice take a look. Don't worry about it. Yeah, we're a family here. When you, when you welcome your family, you know. And and that's never. I've never had that where my tits stay on my belly. <laughs> he's looking at himself. So and he's copping a feel <laughs> right around. Touch, the, you can touch right around the gun in the road. We're straight guys. <laughs> just a couple straight guys hanging out. Gentlemen. Anyways, gentlemen what's, good to know. What's, a, what's a friendly titty cop <laughs> feel, whatever, between gentlemen, yeah. A bean dip? Isn't it called a bean dip when you oh, do that? Isn't that That's whole the thing? whole thing. I'm not as blind, yeah. I don't even know what was the race. It, it seems it's like there was a, a racial... Dip. No, it was, it was the girls... We're friendly, and they yeah. would bean dip each other. Where it, that's like Natalie going up to you and like doing that with your tit. Yeah. So oh, she told her man. I, I guess that's like a term for bean dip. Is that like the female version of a sack tap? Yes. Yes. One hundred percent. But there has to be something a racial connotation there. I think that what happened was she that told would be a them. Beaner dip. Yeah, beaner dip. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got the name of the episode. Let's go. Let's go. We can't name it. <laughs> yeah, we got it. Just put my face in it. Like there's like ah, it's okay. Um, the uh, she wanted the guy to go up to AD to go up to the girl and bean dip her, and that's why Clay was like, "That ain't cool." And AD was like, "If you touch my tit, I would fucking smack you." I just feel like the way that they tried to tiptoe around it. And sorry, we're not going to talk about reality TV the whole yeah. time. But the way that they tried to tiptoe around it seemed like maybe because of the bean part of it that there was something racial in there, which is why they tried to pull away. And Did that's you why see she the reunion? Yeah. And so she also apologized for it there. No. I, it, it yeah. made me feel like there was something like I derogatory. Was, I thought it was, at f- was, was uh, racist at first too mm-hmm. or something because of the way they reacted. Mm-hmm. Or if it meant something like bean dip, like everybody had a dip, like trying to say she's a slut or he's a slut. But I looked it up. I went deep yeah. dive and it was basically just a- in the pods they were sorry, girls. They were girlfriends. Sorry. In the pods <laughs> They were friends, and they would like touch each other's tent, and then she was like, "You wanted him to do it." But okay, sorry, that's for our uh, third podcast, sorry, which will yeah. be reality TV. <laughs> so, what's your favorite punk core band? <laughs> All right, guys. Before we go any further, I have to talk about one of our brand new sponsors, which is Capsulite. If you drink along with us on this show, or on our Power Hour, or on the weekends, or all day, or every day, however you drink you know that nothing is worse than the day after drinking. You're going to feel like garbage and it's going to make your day the worst. Uh, Caps Light, however, prevents feeling awful the day after drinking. You can take it before and during drinking. It's the most potent product on the market. It's doctor formulated. It supports your liver. And the toxic byproduct of alcohol is the cause of symptoms of a hangover. It's not dehydration. So if you're just going to drink a whole bunch of water after drinking, that isn't going to help you. Capsulite is what's going to help you. It comes in a portable little packet that you can take to the bar or the club. You can put it in your wallet, your back pocket, in your purse, however you want to bring it there. So you're always armed with Capsulite. I can tell you here at The Thing Is, ding, podcast, um, this is what makes us able to live our lives after an episode of TTI, any regular episode or a power hour, and this is also going to make your day so much better. So right now, if you also want to be able to live your life after a terrible day or night of drinking, you can go to capsulite.com, that's C-A-P-S-U-L-Y-T-E.com, and use promo code GAS, G-A-S, and you're going to get 30% off at checkout. This is going to change your life. It's going to make it so you can have fun at night and then go to work the next day. Uh, just like we all do here. So go to capsulite.com, use promo code GAS to get 30% off. All right, let's get back into it. You don't watch any reality shows. <laughs> what? You don't watch any reality shows. Uh, I mean, not in a really long time. Fine. <laughs> what do you watch? I would have to like great. be engaged. Like when I was living with someone and right. I was engaged and all that, like I was a doctor, uh, celebrity rehab, which is, that's is that? What kind of rehab? Celebrity rehab. Oh, yeah, that's doctor great. Drew. Yeah. yeah. That's so you're a, single right now. Uh, Yes. Oh, cool, man. I, I mean, Fix you know, is interested. You, see, you seem like a nice guy, bro. <laughs> no, 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 dude. You need to touch me again. No, dude, relax. No. Also, you're single. You're looking for Hands love. Hands above the table. You got kids? No kids. Furry ones, too. Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, and two kitties. Two furry kitties, yeah. You got cats? Yeah, two. 
I feel like this is deja vu all It's over exactly again. the same line of questioning. You've been to prison? That- <laughs> yes. It wasn't for like t- t- touching kids like- or anything. No. Do you follow body cam on YouTube? Do you like body cam footage stuff? <laughs> no, she I sent it. She sent it to me. She sent me the. Oh, thing. you guys are so cute. She, she sent me the. You gotta fucking, you know. I sent it. I don't think he ever watched. I feel like no, you're I, not I watched some it. of it. I watched some of it. Yeah, our exchanges are me trying to make him watch body cam videos, and then <laughs> and then cat, cat and animal memes and otter memes. Yeah. What do you think about Nick Lachey singing? Did you see the TikTok of Nick Lachey where I he's did singing? Not see that. Ah oh, man. Wait, where was Nick Lachey singing? Is it Nick, show it, up it on went the... on. It went on TikTok. He's singing this song, and I think he sounds great. But they butcher him in the fucking comments. Bad. Okay. And he kind of looks like him. He's like yoked up, good looking guy, and he's singing with the little graphic T-shirt. Rem, remind me who's Nick Lachey? And ninety eight degrees. Ninety eight degrees. Oh, wow, that's that's, that, that's that their first either. strike of the of the show. <laughs> that's, that's why I don't know. <laughs> the that table was either. like fine, but you don't know Nick Lachey. That's <laughs> regular the furniture, but that's I can't, the problem. I can't, dude. This Wait, your homie. Was it a recent? It's so recent, super recent. Why was he recording himself? He was singing? just singing. He was just singing with his boys. He was just a couple guys having a good couple straight dudes. Because guys sing. do that a lot. <laughs> so his <laughs> boy, his boy was playing the guitar, song. and he was singing that song. Uh, I don't know. A ninety eight degree song. No, he was. Sing- they're gonna pull it up. They're gonna if they don't fucking have oh, it by we're, now. We're giving time. We're giving yeah, them I didn't time. Think that was- <laughs> I was expecting it to come up. And then another question. Is it did he lose his ability to sing over the years? Well well like without they a just, producer there and auto tune yeah, and all that, just, and he probably lost it. It sounds like him to me. I think he sounds good, but they butcher him. You could tell he's like really trying to fucking sing and he's here we go. Yeah, this is great. I love oh, it. Jesus. I might be gay. You think I look like him? Come <laughs> <laughs> you guys are both white, cool. Tell me how to be in the so Come on. Look, Star Wars in the back. Just a couple straight guys having fun. Man. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's the body movement. Yeah, he's for doing me. a lot. That's a day. that's a lot. I'm doing too like much. Like that hand thing. <laughs> Might as well have a cock he's in a it. He's a boy band guy. Yeah, that's this, the boy. This, this, the know, boy band in him. When he was young and he did it, the girls were like, oh my god. Yeah. Now it's like cringe. You got Bruce Willis in the background. <laughs> Feel get better, get better, Bruce. It's a lot. I feel like if you're sitting and singing, you have to be still. You have to like sit yeah, there and sing. Like, it's know. a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. I get it. But they were roasting him on his singing. Oh, skills. they butchered him. They butchered him. Jessica Simpson is somewhere laughing so hard right now. I mean, she he's the best that she ever Ran did. Ran straight to the comments. The Lyft driver who asks you if you can play his <laughs> album for you. <laughs> Dude, come on. The guy, the guy who starts singing Wonderwall at a party. Like I feel, like, you know, why are they butchering him? Oh, they are being shitty. The diehard posters, Peak Mojo Dojo Casa. I don't know. Silent Sundays, Love is Blind going all right. I don't know. But they just got lukewarm 78 degrees. Come on. The guy was doing a good job. 78 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was good, yeah. man. But that's just the kid in me. I like, I've always liked boy bands. I did like 98 degrees the most of that like group of like NSYNC, Backstreet Boys, whatever. Backstreet Boys all day for me. I did like them the best. I was not in on any of that. I didn't. I, that was I, I was, it was Limp Bizkit and Backstreet Boys. I, those are the two oh, not albums that I was listening to at that period of time. I don't know, dude. I, I just you, really want to be white. We're also a very <laughs> different age. What are you, 32? 33. I'm going to be 34 in June. I feel like maybe you were too... Wait, are you... Are you are, no. I feel like... I don't know. That makes sense because I'm older. Because I feel like that like it's a different time frame for you to be listening to boy band music. Like that, the that, 90s. That it no, passed. no. Well, well, I mean, I grew up... I was born in 1990. So when Britney Spears was popping, I was in love okay. with Britney. I wanted to bang her out. And then it was also... <laughs> what like, age was this? When Britney came when out. she was 15? <laughs> yeah, but I was younger than her. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I wanted Britney to bang Spears. around when I was 13, and she was 15. This Something year's catalog. Britney yeah. Spears. Yeah. 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 This year's catalog? I'm just, I'm just agreeing. <laughs> oh. I think I know. I don't know what it is. That might be, I thought he just a, a Sears catalog. <laughs> no, that might be the generation a couple like before you where like the Sears catalog would come oh. in, and there's like the lingerie section. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's good stuff, too. Do you have another bad date or weird sex story before we move on to the next segment? We can just move on to the next segment. Okay. Uh, next segment is Bad Things. Bad Things with you. This is Bad Things for our show. We talk about fight stories, physical altercations. If you've been in more than one, then the most memorable fight that you've been in. Hmm. All right. So um, one of my really good friends and his wife were trying to set me up with their hairdresser. I don't know if it was his, but it was definitely his wife's hairdresser. And we went out in Morristown and we had a few drinks. And on the way out, the four of us were walking and there was a couple like, they look like frat guys to me. And they were kind of staying outside their car and they were like, hey, you guys should come 
hang out with some real men, you know, whatever. <laughs> oh, that was like whatever. But the the his wife was like, "You little punk faggots, da 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 da, whatever," you know. And I was like, <clears throat> you know, they got owned by by these ladies we were with. So they got in the car, and on the way they were driving by, they started saying some really, you know, offensive. Yeah, offensive things to the ladies. You fat pig, you know, whatever. They were just mm-hmm. saying horrible shit. So I was like, all right, I'm going to pull this you kid muzzy, out of the car. You dirty, muzzy, fat, <laughs> fat, fat muzzy. <laughs> Stupid, fat, muzzy. So they were driving down. It was like a Jeep, and the guy was hanging out the window saying all this shit. I was like, I'm going to pull him out of the car on the way by. So the guy hit the gas on the way by, and I punched him through the through the open window. Nice. But I yeah. Hit, I hit the, you see that dent in my arm? Yeah. Yeah, that hit, <laughs> the so follow excited. through hit the inside of the window, and I kind of rolled, and then they, you know, they kept going. So I was like, man. So, so uh, some English guy was like, right, mate, are you like a stunt man or something? Because it looked pretty. Are you Nick like, Lachey? Like, I meant to do that. I <laughs> Is meant that you, that. Nick Lachey? <laughs> so, Is it you? Uh, so, we get to the car, and then I get in the backseat, and his wife's like, wait, isn't that the guy? And I was like, Ugh. So, I, you know, I'm trying to get out of the car, and she kept locking the car, and I kept unlocking it, and she would lock it, and it was like <laughs> a caged bull. trying. And the more I couldn't get out, the more I was ready to pull the whole door off, so... I got out and I went over there and, you know, I was like, you know, he had a hat on now and he looked a little different. I was like, he just did a Jeep before. And he was like, I don't know what you mean, man. What are you you talking about? I was was looking at him and then his friend came over. He's like, hey, man, you hit my Jeep. So it turned into a melee. And, um, you know, I'm hitting this kid and his friend jumps on my back. (laughs) He's like, ah, wrestling me trying to get, you know. Where's your friend? Well, so he came up behind me and I guess he saw what was going on. He thought they were jumping me. So he... uh, (laughs) Um, he just started throwing elbows and, you know, he was in dress shoes. So we're on pavement and he like hit the one kid, knocked him over, whatever. And he fell and face planted, you know, ripped oh, his whole face open. Oh, my God. And his wife came and she was like, ah, and she like jumped in. It was the craziest thing. So uh, I think she broke her watch on his face or something. And um, whatever happened, we kind of like went our separate ways and he was bleeding. And I was just like, you know, I sat in the back, back seat kind of like being quiet and the cops came up and they were like. To me, when the police arrived, that's like, no, I don't know. Nothing happened. What do you mean? He was like, these these punk kids tried to jump my... I was like, ugh. So, whatever. But that was that was probably the more... You know, I have a... Like, every time I was in muscle and fitness or something like that, there's like a little dent in my arm every time. They're like, ugh, you know? So. You don't airbrush it? So, covers they do. You know, like the cover that I did, um, they airbrushed it. So, you can't really see it. I don't, that might have been pride. No, no, yeah. That was after, so... Did you, when you punched him through the window, did you actually make contact? Yeah, hit him. And then the follow through hit the inside of the car. So it swelled up the whole next day. My whole arm was all purple. I thought I'd like ripped the muscle, but I just put like, I think I just, you know, put a dent in it. Um, And then the. No, oh, you. <laughs> yeah, it's the ins- you know, can't see it there. I don't think it's the inside. Wow. No, that's the, that's. Well, your point to get is the deltoid to the <laughs> tricep. That's not the dent in his bicep. I don't. There's think another muscle a little lower. Just go a little lower. Just, can you go lower? Just I think there's just a little. Just a, ah, sorry. That, <laughs> confusing for another muscle. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> so you were you were bigger back then. That was like uh, yeah. that was like peak kind of like stuff. How I mean, long? It doesn't seem bigger. It just seems like more like. What like ri- like did you guys Google me? Is that what's going on? <laughs> yeah, apparently, yeah. So well, you gave us the muscle and fitness hint, so I couldn't oh, yeah. not. <laughs> All right, so yeah, good for you, man. What what's the highest you you made it in the in the competition? Like, I mean, I turned pro in 2014. I did a couple pro shows. I mean, I had maybe a 10 year career. Uh, I you know a pretty successful amateur career. I did a lot of you know muscle and fitness, and I had a muscular development contract. And um, that's awesome. I was dude. the MHP guy. Like when they hit, they had their pro team put there. So oh fuck yeah, dude. that yeah whatever. Anyway, so um yeah the pro team putting, which you know I had about enough of that shit. Because when you're like the guy and you're like making appearances and you're giving everyone pudding, if you're hungry, you end up eating the protein pudding. It was just, yeah. I know there would be, there's some kind of a protein pudding joke in here somewhere. But <laughs> yeah, the whole time I'm thinking of semen and we're going to side It's probably that. happening in the live chat Literally. right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I got sure, some protein, pudding, protein more. pudding. I got some protein pudding for you. So. Our figs wants the protein yeah, pudding. Figs. <laughs> figs had too much pudding, fatty fat. <laughs> He's off pudding. <laughs> yeah, we're pudding. No, like you shouldn't like have that. any more pudding. <laughs> that was a good one. Off pudding. Yeah. That could be a title. <laughs> Are you getting an applause? I'm craving chocolate pudding now for whatever reason. I'm just imagining. Damn, dude. So damn, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, uh, I did a couple of pro shows. Those girls really could have fucking. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm no, sorry I, I just yeah. didn't. You know, I kind of lost interest after a while. Yeah. Because I also didn't want to. Some of the guys I was competing with as a pro were like 20 pounds heavier than me. I got you. 
And I just, but you did great. It's still a great accomplishment. Thanks. You see what I mean? <laughs> it was a big part of my life for a while. That's amazing, dude. Riggs loves you. This guy's amazing. <laughs> he's an action so hero. He, he's he's, he's playing footsie with me under the... You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, fully, tell. both of our shoes are up right now, and you guys don't <laughs> know. <Jesus. laughs> but we're straight. We're just straight guys, <laughs> and we're hanging out. A couple out. of gentlemen. A couple you know. straights. You know what's crazy? Those girls could have got you in a lot of fucking trouble, dude. When in a, in a situation like that, like, did you end up, like, hanging out with those girls after for a while? Or I was the only time I out? met. I mean, it's probably not leaving the greatest impression on the hairdresser they tried to set me up with. Oh, but okay. So, I, not, I wasn't oh, right, really, it was the wife that, like, kind yeah, of started well, I mean, it. I don't Yeah, because she's the one who just, well, she didn't start it. Those, those punk kids started it by yeah. saying whatever, and then she kind of maybe escalated it by... Which, I mean, listen, if you're going to make comments at a girl, you're kind of buy and pay for whatever they say to you. And you just got to take that and eat it and that's it. But then to escalate it and start calling them names and being a scumbag. What were what did your friend look like? Is he like a big guy? Yeah, he was also? a pretty jack. He was uh, half Italian, half Asian. So I tease him that he like. Let's pull him up real quick. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not. There's nothing on him. Just, listen, I've never heard of an Italian Asian. Just type in Italian Asian. He'll probably pop up. <laughs> <laughs> There's half, one half, half Japanese, <laughs> half Italian. Yeah. So anyway, um, so yeah, he was like throwing elbow strikes and palm strikes, and he was okay, like, you Mikey know, Chang over here. Yeah, he was he was going in. It was pretty funny. And what did the other guys look like? They looked like frat kids to me. Like, so, like had so they had to be. They had to be smashed. They're yeah, probably, probably drunk, drunk. And being stupid. Yeah, they're probably drunk and stupid. And uh, I mean, yeah, it's a sticky they, situation. Well, so that's the like I said uh, to me, the cops come. I'm like, I don't know, nothing's happening. I don't know. I don't want to get involved. I don't want to get into trouble. But you know, he's. He's bleeding profusely from the face, and you know they're like, "What happened?" And he, you know, so they're like, "Oh, the the kids in the in the jeep, we got him around the corner." I was like, "That was quick." So it was raining out at that point, and they drive around the corner, and they have them both handcuffed in front of the headlights of the car, like they're going to execute them. And they're like, "Is that the guys?" And I'm like, "I don't know." I, you know, no, nah, that's them. You know, it's like so. There was like a court case and whatever. Oh, there was. There was. So you yeah. were arrested. They did. I didn't. You they know. were arrested. Yeah, I didn't get arrested. I feel like that never happens. That it, it's always like the the ones that look the most injured, like they're gonna take their word, and it's the other people that get. Well, arrested. he was bleeding, like I said, profusely. But so. that's what I'm saying. That you would think that then they would take you guys in I because think he they tore looked. His, he tore something in his shoulder too. Every time I see him, he reminds me of this. You see him n- more? But, yeah, my I, oh, your I, friend who got yeah, my yeah. friend. Oh, I don't oh, see oh, the two oh, guys. Oh. No, I see my buddy every once in a while. Right, like, I forgot. He we were just on tour, right. and I played in South Carolina. He came in, and hung out, and he was like, and he brought up again. I tell my sons, you know, you never leave a brother behind. You know, he's like one of those. You know, he's telling the whole story about how you know, what you know, don't leave your you know your guy behind, and da-da-da. it's pretty funny. You know, a battle tested man. He, he's seen the whole story. So. I'm glad no one pulled out a knife or anything. Like, this just sounds like this a manly pre-dates. fight, couple straight guys just fighting, <laughs> sweating, bleeding, just couple like manly guys. man stuff, dress shoes. I want to say this is like predates knives, but it doesn't. They've had knives for a long time, so. Yeah, yeah. No one was, no one was, there was, there was no a, knives. Yeah, but you know, so those guys probably just got a little like, you know, smack on the wrist or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, no one showed up for court, so. Yeah. I guess, you know. Dickheads, oh. and then oh, you so didn't want to fight. Dismissed. You guys actually, you actually like uh, carried it forward. You know what I mean? Because they were like trying to hide and shit. Well, you know? I don't know. I could put a couple drinks at me, and, and you know, and my arm was met. I was like, ah, you know, I didn't really get a good shot at the guy. So, and he didn't yeah. go to the hospital. Me, no. I wish I probably should have. I don't know. There's a lot of times I get injured doing something. Do you think there's I glass in your arm still? No, it didn't break the window. Let the window was down. <laughs> Let's see it right there. Yeah. Yeah, no glass. It's like, no. can I feel? Let me feel it. it. it, it I like need to get a, that checked. <laughs> right? yeah. no, no. It probably just tore like the couple, a couple muscle fibers on the top. Towards, yeah, I do. Something like that. Abs to the best. So this is like, <laughs> <laughs> this is I have like tennis elbow right now. It's killing me. <laughs> so this is like start, several. Start jerking off lefty. <laughs> yeah, <I'll try. laughs> That's the problem. Gross. I'll try. All right. <laughs> go ahead, everybody. Go ahead. Keep pre rolling. Not now. Oh, sorry. Well, Later. Right, Wait till sorry, the show's right, over. Listen to the guest, y'all. Gotta be good to the guest. <laughs> so, I wasn't directing you now. Start jerking <laughs> off lefty. Good host. Good host. Uh, so this is like several years ago. What's yeah, the so most so. recent physical altercation that you've been in? By the way, you can. Um, I left this here for you if you because I feel oh, like that's your white clothes empty. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's been a while. I I kind of steer clear of stuff like that as much as I can. Are you just not wanting to tell the story? <laughs> do you know <laughs> the story? No, I, I'm not. I don't. I don't <laughs> yeah, know do you know? The story. I, I, I maybe <laughs> it's no. got to be there. I must have asked this question before. No, I. I you know, it's funny because I think that. Um, yeah, I mean, the last. I mean, I'm 50 now, so I, I'm trying to you know keep. I keep a low profile. You're not really answering the question. 
<laughs> Am I not answering the question? You're not. What um, was the most recent physical altercation that you're willing to talk about? I don't know. It's been a while. So More than five years ago? Yes, probably. More than 10 years ago? Mm, probably, probably around 10 years ago. So you know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's there. Um... This guy's a nice guy, Shannon. You're trying to fucking trying to like, like sully my. You like didn't even want to fight those dudes. It was those <laughs> dumb chicks that fucking you You're know sully my instigated. Yeah. Yeah. Turn me into this some sort a good of a dude. Bully. He's eating pudding. I, I nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, come on, think of something. Think of something bad. Think of something, yeah, think of something worse. <laughs> um, I broke some guy's finger once. I was I went to see Chevelle. My ex fiance loved Chevelle, so we got tickets to go see them and. We finally found a spot where she could see the band and see what's going on. And it was like up in the upper mezzanine and there was just enough room for her to see down. And, and there was some dude like five feet behind us and he was hammered and he was making all this noise, crazy, yeah. rah, making all these noises. So, you know, she was like getting annoyed. And if she's getting annoyed, mm -hmm. I'm getting annoyed. You know what I mean? Like we're there to have a good time. And if she's not having a good time, that means I'm not having a good time. Mm -hmm. So I got kind of, and she was like, ah, let's just go. We'll find somewhere else. So on the way I was like, Hey man, why don't you shut the fuck up? Nobody wants to listen to that. And I kept, and I left, you know. So he started hanging off the side of the thing, and he's pointing and yelling at me. And I'm like, "Is this guy serious?" So I go over there, and he's going, "You're the asshole. You're the fucking asshole. Freedom of speech, motherfucker. You can't tell oh, me boy. to shut up. You can't tell me to shut the." F and I was like, I grabbed him with a finger and I yanked it like a little bit, and I was like, "Fuck you, man." And I don't know what I said, but I, I felt his finger break in my hand, and he went, <gasps> and he like shrieked. And I'm assuming he probably was wiping lefty for a while after that. It's interesting to yell at somebody freedom of speech while telling them <laughs> yes. they can't yeah. say something. You're the asshole. <laughs> you can't fucking tell me what to do freedom of speech. So I think I first said, said something along the lines of, well, if it's freedom of speech, I can tell you to shut the fuck up. How about that? And then so once this once this uh, breaking of the finger happens, he retreats and you walk away. Well, he started screaming, you know, because it probably hurt. And in my experience, the bouncers are coming. Which they did, and I'm like, I'm leaving. It's all good. So you know, I made my exit before the anyone an ambulance of police or anyone to wish to show up. Um, and now is your <laughs> the statute of limitations is long <laughs> yes. since over. <laughs> that. Some dude's probably watching the show, and that was me, motherfucker. <laughs> I had a jerk off left for a while. <laughs> is your uh, fiance at the time? How does she react to your reaction to this? Um, at the time, she was really mad at me. You're a bully. Da, da, da. <laughs> what? You use your muscles to hurt people. She was really mad at me. I heard. I hear it the whole ride home, because you know. Whatever. Did you guys end up missing the concert? Because no, of it? I, I mean, she wanted to watch the rest of the. I was like, no, by all means, watch the rest of the concert. I'm gonna go get my jacket, and so that you know, I don't want to have to spend the night in the police station yeah. or getting us all charged of some sort. So, um, so I was leaving, and she was just, you know, she was really mad at me. So now I think if you were to go back and, and tell and she would tell the story, she would tell it in a different because, you know, you know, in hindsight, it wasn't the guy was pointing his finger. In my yeah, face. that guy fucking started from the jump. He was yeah. a fucking wacko. Yeah, he was a whack job. She thought she was like, don't do that. He's probably retarded. I was like, <laughs> so he's doing that to me. And I go, you realize that she thought you were fucking retarded, right? And he's going, you're the asshole. You're the fucking <laughs> asshole. And I was like, mm, like. I don't know. I bet you know what he's not going to do again? Point his finger in someone's face. You're damn right. Well, now it's like crooked. Yeah. yeah. The whole he's thing. like, hey, you, get your damn it. Yeah. And he's probably not retarded anymore. He sold <laughs> yeah, his train just, sets and coloring books, and he's just normal now. <laughs> I, we're not really supposed to say retarded anymore. No. <laughs> well, I just early in the episode. So. <laughs> I think we have to bleep that. I don't think we have to bleep retarded. I never mark it down. Do you guys bleep retarded in the booth? No, right? Yeah. Uh, until we get told to, I'm, I'm going to keep letting it fly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't know. I, I feel I like there's a difference between, like, like you know, the whole Louis C.K. thing about the, the word <laughs> Like, yeah. you can, you know, it doesn't have anything to do with being, you know. Hateful. Yeah. It's hateful not, or, yeah. or a gay person. It's, a, you know. Yeah. Like, hey, don't be a Suck that dick, you know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, I don't know. Fine. We grew up with a lot that. of requests today. Z. <laughs> <laughs> Relax, buddy. <laughs> Can't do that now, pal. <laughs> he's over. He's still jerking off left. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole time. His I've left been, hand is I've been gone. edging the whole time with just two fingers like this. <laughs> he's, yeah, dude. he's in sweatpants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> easy access. Are you really in sweatpants? No, these are cargo pants, but whatever. I mean, you want to. <laughs> Okay. For, for, the, for the purposes of the <laughs> show, no one knows. Yeah, they yeah. can't see. That's right. That's they also right. don't know if you guys are playing footsie the whole time. <laughs> All right, now I'm starting. To, my straight side is like, okay. All right. It's, oh, back. I took it too far. Hey, relax now, Shady. <laughs> it's been a little far. Yeah, a little too far here. 
<laughs> All right. We're going to move over to our final segment, which is scary things. Scary. <laughs> Got scary you a little things. bit. That was pretty scary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's scary anyway. So. He is scary. <laughs> Wait, you guys have talked about it one second. Man. This is the part where we talk about scary things, <laughs> weird, creepy, unexplainable, possibly paranormal experiences. The reason why that's there is because Figs's biggest fear is Michael Jackson. White Michael Jackson. White Michael Jackson, <laughs> Jackson particularly. <laughs> Filipino Michael Jackson is cool. I like <laughs> Filipino Michael. I think that Filipino Michael was the peak Michael. He was collecting animals. I don't think he was doing anything <laughs> fraudulent. <laughs> He was a nice fraudulent. man. Fraudulent. Fraudulent. <laughs> and then when he got white is when everything got fucking weird. You know? I think was, he's probably weird before. <laughs> <laughs> he made the weird out of the world thing. He was helping kids in Africa. When he got white is when he was like taking sleep pills and hanging out with Liza Minnelli. It's okay to take sleeping pills. That's true. That's true. It, it wasn't he... that that did it. <laughs> the pro- propofol. That's true. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's what did it. Yeah. Michael's scary, dude. I would be afraid to wake up next to Michael or see Jesus. Those are the two people that scare me. Oh, that's his other biggest fear, Jesus. <laughs> they just—they're scary looking. So Jesus, our Lord and Jackson. Savior. <laughs> they're scary. I had a dream that I, I wow, that reminds me. Yesterday, I had a dream that I was hanging out with a friend and I was looking at my buddy and I think I was like, "Hey, man, like, where do you want to eat?" And his face was morphing into Jesus. Scared the shit out of me. Wait, was this after the power hour? This was after the power oh. hour. I slept horribly last night. I, I slept pretty bad too. Yeah, I slept really, really bad. I just couldn't fucking sleep. I was tossing and turning. I was hot. It's crazy. And I saw Jesus in my sleep. So maybe I had a heart attack in my sleep. <laughs> knock on wood. Knock, not that. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. Uh, okay, so. <laughs> did weird. You, wake, you didn't Sorry. wake up with stigmata or anything? You no, know, dude. Oh, man. That's horrible. That's Wait, we had scary. a guest that claimed to have stigmata. Do you remember? I think so, yeah. Is it K- Kate? Christy? Something with yeah, the Yeah, something that she. The yeah. psychic. She didn't, she didn't like have punctures, but she said she kind of like. Yeah, she claimed. That was a scary movie. Had nothing to do with the jelly donut. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right? I, mean, I don't know. I, mean, I, was just... I don't believe when people say things like that, though. Like this, you got to see some stigmata proof. Stigmata thing is that one's a little too far for me. But she also had like a. I don't want to like besmirch our <laughs> wonderful guest, but she, was a frog. <laughs> she had like a box of <laughs> she, crystals. I, I I like I like crystals for how TJ pretty Max they are. On the box, <laughs> yes. I think. But also, she had like um electroshock. Therapy at some point. Oh yeah, that was yeah. her. Yes. On the show. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, Whoa. she was. A, she Dude, was that's a guest. Whack a doodle. Guess yes, went all was. the way. For she her. made us do humming exercises. What? She's tweet, but she was cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. It, She's crazy, dude. It, it was a whole thing. But we follow each other. We're not doing electroshock her. therapy on this show, <laughs> no, right? Not on you this. Didn't no, tell no, me all no, the no. other stuff. So <laughs> no. we do have a blanket with a hole in it, but that's after <laughs> if you and Shani agree. But that's, that's, <laughs> yes, that's, a that's when day. I leave, and it's just the what? <laughs> all right, no kidding. <laughs> that's like a Hasidic thing, right? The blanket with the hole in it. Yeah, yeah. Is that true? Is that I real? No, if that's, that's true. true. Yeah, I, don't I feel know. like I've looked it up before, and I've found evidence that it is true. Yeah, the Hasids do it. Yeah. So hold, I, hold in the blanket. I used to work for a purchase. I was a purchasing agent for a packaging company. I used to deal with uh, from Brooklyn. There was like a stretch film distributor, and I used to speak to this uh, person that was or, like orthodox. And you know, in speaking to this person all the time, you would get these, you know, like a little bit of a rapport with them. And I, I think I made some kind of a joke about that. And she's like, "What are you talking about? Hole in the sheet? Oh my god!" She was like, Never. <laughs> "No, that's not true." I can so. I mean, that could have been the you know. Maybe Orthodox don't do that. I feel like they're, aren't they the ones, or Hasidic? Is no, Hasidic Hasid, and Orthodox two different things? I don't know. Yeah, I think so. I think one, <laughs> so of them, one of them are in the tunnel and the other one are out the tunnel. That's I know for sure. What does that mean? They're tunnel, tunnel dwellers. Oh. Tunnel dwellers? Yeah. The uh, Hasids Has- were in the tunnels. Harrington. Hasidic Jews are a branch of Orthodox Judaism that is considered ultra Orthodox. Yes, yeah, so like super, super duper. They hang out in tunnels. They fuck through blankets, and the women wear weeds. <laughs> super they, duper. There's definitely, there's definitely. What is the name of the? Um, they go to a pool. Like after the woman has her men's carnival cruise. Oh no, <laughs> <laughs> we go to the pool. No, they have to rinse through like the the synagogue. They go to a pool and they have to rinse away all the, the uncleanliness. Um, do you know that? Is this something that's that you a thing? To be true? I, that's a thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a thing. Like, I'm just speaking a whole lot of this. I love this. I love this. Keep going. Be? There's a shaker. The, the people the shaker. Get shaker. Shake for soaking, I don't know if the, I don't think the Hasidics <laughs> did the shaking thing. Although I've heard they do the light thing, the Hasids. I, a friend of mine used to work for uh, the guy that owned a couple different strip clubs in New, Jer- in New Jersey, 
Uh, well, Jewish, Jewish law prescribes that women <laughs> immerse themselves into the waters of the mikveh, mikveh, mikveh. <laughs> following their menstrual periods or after childbirth in order to become ritually pure and permitted to resume sexual activity. Oy, you Wait, so that? every time they have their period, they have to do it? What a, what a whole thing. The mikveh. Yeah. And they put them in a hut too, right? Up, oh, you got oh, your period, you go to the hut. <laughs> no, I think that's so a different pizza thing. In there. <laughs> they don't do that. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Uh oh. <laughs> Gotta go to the hut. <laughs> that was a rough one. Your mother's complaining. She's gonna go to the hut with Aunt Cheryl. They're synchronized. No, isn't the hut a different thing? Yeah. What if they all if they're all their periods sync up? Then they yeah, all gotta go. They all go to the hut. Do they go in celebrate. at the same time? Oh, pool party. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, too many in the mix. There's a line. The mix was full. Someone turn on the jets. <laughs> I'm imagining that it has jets. The whirlpool. <laughs> turn on the jets. Too cold in here. Do you do the mix? Is there chlorine in them? In there? I don't even know what's. I don't know. And then is it like is it like a pool? Is it like a bathtub? How often are they changing the water out? This is turning uh, into like Bible study now. <laughs> no, no, I just, I've never heard of this before. I have so many questions know. about it. I mean, do they change the water like one vag to the next? Oh, that's I want that's what I want to know. Or is it like monthly they change it? <laughs> They it, can't change the it water. It just looks like <laughs> stew after a while. Oh, There's clots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a clots and all kinds of... Is this a carrot? That's <laughs> oh, a carrot. That's a mirepoix. Leave it. Leave it. It's good for the mikvah. <laughs> Jambalaya. Oh, God. <laughs> Shrimp. Well, it's salty. Shrimp. Oh, it's bone marrow. <laughs> you can have it for the fast. <laughs> so if you're gross. fasting, have the mikvah water. It's bone, oh. bone marrow. <laughs> Bone broth. Bone broth. Bone broth. Bone, bone, broth. Yeah. bone marrow. <laughs> if you got bone marrow that's in your a, period, you got some problems. Rich, that's a rich bull if it's bone marrow. I feel bone marrow. Expensive. Yeah. Oh boy. I mean, well, I mean, did, I never thought that this would be the episode <laughs> no, where we no, completely get banned off the YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a nice guy, and next thing you know, he's like, I think they do holes in the blanket. He's he's, dirty. You brought up the holes in the blanket, not me. I had nothing to do with that. He's kicked out of the band now. <laughs> dude, sorry, dude. You can't be part of Generation Kill anymore, dude. Well, who's that of the band? I don't know. That, I thought that your lead singer. Like maybe. Foghorn Leghorn. <laughs> Look at you. You're out of here, brother. <laughs> Let's smell cold. Yosemite Sam. <laughs> Environment. Yeah. Um, so what we're talking about is not typically what we talk about in this segment. Well, that is all a scary, scary thing. That was yeah, all scary as scary, shit. dude. Come on. Bunch of a bunch of old Jewish with ladies with a still with, water. With vag jambalaya. That Wait, sounds pretty Can scary we thing. see what a mikvah yeah, pool we, gotta, we need some like. live mikvah footage right now. And then whenever somebody has a chance, if they can just grab my charger out of my bag, please. <laughs> Come in, the water's warm. Come in. in. I mean, they have to change everything. But it's got to be like the size of a pool, like a, of a tub. It probably has a filter. Because if it's like a pool, you can't like change yeah, that out constantly. I'm sure it's not like an Olympic-sized mikvah. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> With like lap lanes They got this from you Sam's know? Club. <laughs> big one. Big mikvah bowl. We mean like richer play? towns. Oh, okay. Oh, fancy. Oh, look look you can that. walk in like a gentle person. Oh, that's like in one of their tunnels, like in the basement. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Go into oh, the mikveh. See that? It's like a oh, spot. It's green. All that it's white. Green. To Those me, ladies are Asian, by the way. The I can just tell green. by the backs. <laughs> Those are not Jews. Those are Asians. That white would be scary if you're going in there for the the menses. <laughs> also, like, is so is this like holy water of some sort? I guess it's after the period. Why is like a shower not okay? Is this special water? Maybe it's just a, an excuse to use a jacuzzi. I'm, so, I'm more confused than when we started this. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody have information in the live chat? Does anybody know? It's probably not a lot of Jews in our live chat. If they are, they probably signed off a while ago. <laughs> Oi, fucking me. Oi, fucking me. <laughs> They're getting it all wrong. <laughs> They're getting it all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> wow, pretty. is that like an ancient one? That, yeah, I like an the ancient, ancient one. The fucking oh, Castro no, escaped from the middle one over there. <laughs> <That's> terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> no, Abraham's Jeff wife. That yeah, was her yeah. personal <laughs> mikvah. <laughs> yeah, right. This is the mikvah. Oh, there man. he goes. Oh, is there a guy that like does this to them? Probably. There's yeah. always a guy that does always, something. Always. It's always a guy getting involved with people's vaginas. Yeah. <laughs> After I finish biting off the foreskin, yeah, I, I was going to say that. Way. What the fuck? We're synced in, brother. <laughs> Touch my hand. He does it. Come on. I get in trouble for doing that. I don't know. Make a joke about that and then we high five. That's it, buddy. You're locked in now. <laughs> you are locked in. I was going to say that. I just read that article where the guy gave a bunch of people herpes from biting the four. Uh, 
Does anybody Oops. watch a? Is it Ricky? Ricky Stanicki? Rick Stanicki. Yeah. Rick Stanicki. Rick Stanicki. Ricky Ricky Stanicki. Yeah. 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 Did you, oh, you probably won't because you hate John Cena. <laughs> but John, <laughs> I don't hate John Cena. <laughs> John it's, Cena's in it, it. I don't hate him. It's just you know it was a thing for a minute. It's not really a thing anymore. Like all right. You hate him because of like wrestling or <laughs> no no him? no not because of that. No, so um I was up for a part. I I read for the director for um Trainwreck. Okay. And I got a call back. I, you know, I read. I call back. I went and read for um. For Judd Apatow, and it went really well. I got put on hold for it, and I was like, holy shit. And then, um, you know, they don't really call you if you don't get the part. So maybe three months later, my friend was doing background work on it. He was like, weren't you up for the part of the boyfriend in this? And I was like, yeah. He was like, oh, John Cena got it. I was like, oh. Cena! <laughs> <laughs> and then I swear to you, I, the next day I got a call from my agent. He's like, oh, Party City wants to uh, hire you. They're like, they're going to like a Randy Orton costume or something. It was like $400 an hour. And I was like, all right, whatever. And I oh, go up cool. there. They hand me the costume. It's a fucking John Cena costume. I was like, oh, fuck is Cena. God. Just the shorts? No, no. It was, was like a, hat full, it was a full zip up. Everything. We the hands. Everything. What? It was a full. And it didn't fit me because it was for a maiden, for someone that's not the same size as him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they got like pin it in the back. But oh, yeah, so. Snap. That's wild, yeah. dude. Damn. I, yeah, I remember in the movie, he's like the drug dealer. No, that was a different movie. Oh, okay. Yeah. And when I saw the movie, I was a little bit like, eh, I don't know. Yeah. It wasn't okay. really. It was. You know. You're an actor? I mean, I've done some stuff. Oh, a little bit, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. A little bit. So, um, so yeah. in, in Ricky Stanicki, he does, like, he jumps in, like, spoiler alert, yeah. but he jumps in, like, for the rabbi at some point and finishes a... <laughs> a baby. Yeah. Uh, a circum- a brisk. <laughs> does he bite it? Does he Does he bite it? He said finishes a baby. Bam, Finish him. <laughs> he, does, like, he doesn't bite Suplex. <laughs> suplex, <laughs> bitch. Now. Like just fucking Can't see me now, baby bitch. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't bite it, but I don't want to reveal All right. how he finished you don't it. Really good movie. It was a cute it movie. Was, it was a, yeah, it was kind of a, a sleeper. I it's did. I, I watched it like on my trip home from the Poconos, and it was just the right amount to mm-hmm. make the whole trip fly by. And yeah. I actually like, laughed a few times. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was good. Parts. It was good. What's up with this guy's face, though? Efron. Okay, so I feel like I have an answer to this. Can I also have my charger, please? I'm sorry to be so annoying. Was it jaws or size? Did oh. he just exercise his jaw? Okay, no. No. Okay. So what happened was, this is my theory. Well, this is my theory mm-hmm. about it. Is So he had an accident years ago mm-hmm. where he like broke a portion of his jaw. Mm-hmm. And then um, he had to have surgery on it. But I believe that in the surgery, it thank you, it changed the shape of his jaw. So I don't know if he intentionally had them alter it. Mm. But like, hey, from, while you're in there, guys. Yes, Might as well. But from then uh. to now, there is a clear difference. It's not fillers because a lot of people, I feel like, say fillers. I think it's like an, an implant or a plate that was put in when he had the surgery oh, done. Okay. That's my theory. But there's definitely a big difference from then to now. Okay. I got to see the Iron Claw movie. I heard he's really good in that. I heard it's a good film. Iron Claw, they're all like wrestlers. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. With um the, the guy from uh, Shameless mm-hmm. also, mm-hmm. yeah. Where they all like got all jacked for it. Yep. So. I promise I'm straight, dude. <laughs> I'm a straight guy. I just want to just for like, a straight you know, guy. I'm, I'm straight. You, you talk about <laughs> other dudes being Admiration for men <laughs> oh, uh, Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. I'm Listen, leave. man. I'm gonna fucking leave. You can do whatever you want, man. You, can, you know. He said you could do whatever you want. I mean, not to me, but you know, in life, in life, you can do whatever you want. In America, in America, you can generally do. Is this a suit, John? See now, Lucy. Oh, I don't care. Find a zipper, Daddy. Oh no. Oh boy, this is Mitzvah. maybe the longest it's ever been from the segment intro oh, to so, the yeah, story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, well, we had to take a detour through <laughs> all of the things you're not supposed <laughs> to ever talk about or say in public ever. Sure. So, hey, we learned. We learned. What didn't we mention yes. that we're we not supposed learned. to talk about? And I apologize to Rob Dukes. We didn't talk about that. I apologize to Rob Dukes for bringing you guys into all of this. <laughs> <laughs> He's the lead singer. <laughs> Just cover my shirt up. <laughs> yes. Don't want to be associated. Okay, so tell us a story about a weird, creepy, unexplainable, possibly paranormal experience that you had. All right, so um, I mean, there's a bunch of stuff that's happened to me, but I, I I got introduced to this person from Chicago that does like phone readings and stuff when you you know someone you know has passed on or whatever, and um, you know I, I was open minded about it, but you know a little healthy dose of skepticism, and I think one of the things that they do is they qualify when you first you know so um, I'm named after my grandfather and my father, so I'm the third, and in talking. She was like, I'm really confused. You're named after your dad, but he's still here. Who are you named after? And I was like, my grandfather. So she's like, oh, there's three of you, which was weird enough. And she's like, well, he gave you 
a pocket watch, two pocket watches. One of them's engraved, and but it doesn't mean anything because he got it at a swap meet. And I was like, because right in my like nightstand in the drawer, there's two pocket watches that I was left. One says uh, JB on it, but he got it at like a flea market or something like that. So that was kind of the, you know, and then she went on to say all these things that he, you know, either regrets from him, you know, things he did that he or he didn't do when he was here and all. But that was a pretty deep thing for because, I mean, how the hell would she know that? Literally sitting right next to me. And it's not like I put the, I don't have them posted on social media or anything like that. So that was an interesting. So on the playing devil's advocate, okay. I feel like. It's maybe like a safe roll of the dice to say like grandfather and pocket watch. But two maybe. of them and one of them yeah. is engraved, but it doesn't mean anything because he was. It, he, it says JB on it. There's no one. He would get like pocket watches and clocks and stuff and fix them. He made all his own tools and everything. He had po like cuckoo clocks everywhere and he had a whole bunch of pocket watches that he fixed. He, he made his own little tools and stuff to fix them. So. And the person that referred you to this medium or psychic you know for sure they didn't like give them in, any information about yeah. you. It was actually my ex-fiance at the time. But did she see this person regularly? I mean, for her own thing, but she didn't know about the pocket watches okay. either, I don't think. I'm like, well, the only person that would have known about that was my sister, and I mean, my sister didn't know about this. So. And so you went into it skeptical and came out of it 100% believer? Yeah, I believe that this woman has some sort of a gift. Because I've had other times where I spoke to her, and she just knew things. She knew... You know, after um, my nephew had passed and she was like, oh, you know, she just the things that she would say, it's just it's kind of mind blowing. And is she a psychic or a medium? I mean, I'm not really clear on the difference. So that medium is like they communicate with like beings on the other side and psychic is like. Uh, you like left your keys out. You know, or, yeah, 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 no, yeah. I don't think she's a like a key finding person. So she's like so she's a medium. So she's talking to somebody on the other side, mm -hmm. theoretically. Yeah. Do you know who, so she was talking to your grandfather? I mean, so she spoke to my mom, she spoke to my grandfather, she's there, you know, and things that she knew, like she's like, this woman has been in my kitchen bouncing her knee, so excited to talk to you, you know, da da da, da. and she described her, not just like the way she looks, but she described her energy about, like, you know, my mom would never sit still, she was, you know, kind of inherited that from her a little bit, so she would like, she would always be kind of doing this when she was waiting for something, and Especially if she was excited. So, um, you know, the things that she said just to me. Now, I mean, I I've thought about this. Is this something that maybe they kind of get from you? Mm -hmm. Do they kind of get into your brain somehow? Maybe not even knowing it. But um, I don't know. There's I do think about that, too. Because, like, there's, you know, like, the, the mentalists, you know, that, like, that, uh, what is it, Darren Brown, I think, of The Push on Netflix. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that. No. Please, we both watch that tonight. The Push? The Push mm -hmm. on Netflix. But it's just like, you know, like mentalist where they like. S I'm expecting him to make some kind of a gay joke. <laughs> no. The Take Push. Yeah, you can it's push over here if you want to do. <laughs> Stop touching me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. My friends and my family. <laughs> we move a lot. <laughs> Sorry, brother. <laughs> so back to the Push. <laughs> so in The Push, it's uh, Darren Brown and he. Um, Basically, it's like uh, they have like a casting call. They have a bunch of people to uh, participate in this like project. But at the end of it, what they're trying to do is get somebody to basically push someone off the edge of a building. So there's like a lot of actors and stuff, but then there's a plant. And they, I mean, obviously it's going to happen because it's the name of it. But they, they get this guy to push somebody off the side of a building and it's just you know there's like a level of like susceptibility that they're looking for in the person it's just kind of like the um jur jury duty or something like that and probably no one's ever I've seen that either heard of that recently yeah, yeah where it's like they one they have one plant everybody else is an actor and they just kind of like see how they react in certain situations okay. so like with mentalists it's like they pick up on certain cues or they know how to like suggest in certain ways and it's like <clears throat> i have no idea how that how that works so mm. i kind of think maybe sometimes those things can have something to do with that. But like the the two the two pocket watches, like that's a hard thing to just kind of pull out of nowhere. But it's very like, specific. But yeah. were there like a whole bunch of other things that like didn't? No. That's what I mean. It's, it was all right it now. wasn't like she was just throwing a bunch of mm -hmm. shit on the wall. Um there was another woman, my my cousin, her twin brother passed from lymphoma and she was recommended to this woman, and um I got a call from her. I didn't really know anything about this and she was like you you have to go see this woman in Wayne because she was talking to me about my brother, and she stopped. Like, wait a minute, 
who passed on that had this beautiful smile. God, she looked like a model, this blonde woman. And she was, she's like, oh, my aunt. She goes, mm, she had uh, three children. And she's like, no, no, she only had my cousin Rob and my cousin Lisa. And she was like, no, no, there was a third who didn't live. And they're together. And she was telling her all this stuff, and uh, among other things. And um, it was intriguing because she didn't know. My mom had a baby in between me and my sister, and it was named after her mother, Lois. So there's no way she could have even pulled that out of her. Mm -hmm. So there's something to that. And then when I went, because then I went and met her too, and she said a bunch of stuff that, you know, some of the stuff that I knew that she could have, you know, but there was just things that were, you know, talking about her, my mother's relationship with her mother, and it was pretty wild. So that's why, I, I mean, I do think there's probably a lot of charlatans that are out there, mm -hmm. you know, trying to get, you know, people's, you know, college funds for their kids and stuff or whatever, but... In this case, I don't think either of those two people, you know, they're, and they're usually booked up solid. Like, you can't get an appointment with them for three, four, or five months sometimes because mm -hmm. people really, you know, believe it. I saw, I was driving down Highland Boulevard in uh, Staten Island the other day, and I saw, I really wanted to stop, but I was on the way back from the vet. I was, holding, I was like, I just want to get home. But I saw, uh, did you know, like the little, like, storefronts, <laughs> and it said, um, we'll read your palm, no questions asked, for $10. <laughs> And it, I really, I just really wanted to do it and just be like, what could you possibly give me? Because like, mm -hmm. who knows? Like maybe there's a person with a real gift out there and they're like, I don't need the money. I just want to like do uh, this to help people. Mm -hmm. But not when I, Thursday, Thursday is the next vet appointment. So I have to pass it again mm -hmm. and I have time to kill. So I might just, I That'd might just cool do it for fun. If 10 you could bucks. record it or something. Yeah. But I feel like. That's the way they get you in. Yeah. Ten bucks, don't worry, blah, blah, blah. And then they'll find something. It's like with Joanna like, Angel. Exactly. Yeah. They'll be like, well, you know, for 58 bucks, and, you know, we could do this, but I have to buy this candle, and I have to buy this. Uh, you're exactly right. Yeah. There's a place yeah. right across the street from where I used to eat. I, like, I lived, you know, two blocks from this place I ate dinner at a lot, and there was this, you know, get your palm red thing, for t same thing, $10. And I went in there and, you know, I gave her $10 and she was like, oh, you know, and she was, you know, and she said some general stuff and she was like, you know, I want you to go home and you need to do this thing with this, you know, in the corner and wipe the corners of your windows. And she mm -hmm. was like, someone has done something very evil to you. And she was like, and, you know, I need to do this and do that. And she was like, and when you come back, we need to talk. We need to, you know, and she was like, there's these candles and we need to get them in our mm -hmm, church. And mm -hmm, it was like a whole thing. Mm -hmm. So. I asked someone about, and apparently there's like lawsuits against this woman in that town because she has sucked people in and gotten, you know, college funds and stuff from people and life savings. You yeah, know? but Joanna Angel, I think it was like, what was it, like $5,000 or something the yeah. first time? But she was a stripper yep. at that time. Do you know Joanna Angel, the porn star? No. So she's like legend, like from back in the day, like legendary porn star. And so she was like brokenhearted, went to see a psychic. And then the psychic <laughs> said she had like a curse on her or something mm -hmm. because she had just broken up with her boyfriend. That's she what was, they do, yeah. And so it was like $5,000. Yep. And then <laughs> when break, it. <laughs> we will break the curse. Yes. Exactly. Literally. And when do. it didn't work, she went back and she was she like, was like, oh, <sighs> it's a really strong yeah. curse. We need $10,000. Yes. We need <laughs> solid in gold singles. Candles. In singles. Yes. <laughs> Low price of $3,700. We can do it, Jarma. Um, oh, there she goes. She's got a big curse. Yeah. That's the psychic or no, that's Joanna Angel? Angel. Oh. <laughs> no, that's the psychic. I wouldn't give her $5,000. Come back to me. No. Also a porn star, that psychic. <laughs> um, Follow me on OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> you get the biggest subscription, we can cure curse. Have you yourself ever experienced something? Um, I mean, you know, that kind of stuff, really. But Well, all right, so this is going to sound crazy, though. No, that. That's Crazy what we're looking for. <laughs> this is good. So I know, like, this is the the uh, the um, arena for it. I guess. So I guess. Um, I mean, little things like since my mom passed, her favorite candy was the peppermint patty. And anyone that knows me knows that's kind of a thing because I didn't used to like them at all. But when she was really sick, she was in Brazil. She retired during my father. She wouldn't really eat, so I brought her a big box, like 180 of them, and I put a bunch of them in the freezer, and I would kind of sneak them to her, make it make it seem like she was doing something wrong, you know. And she'd be like, she would eat them, and it was at least getting some calories in. So, since then, you know, me and my sister, if we're somewhere, we'll get one and we cheers and kiss it up to her and whatever. And um, I take them on when I'm on tour. Uh, we'll we'll all get together and we kind of all cheers and kiss them up to her, and, and we go on stage because. Um, she is the one who gave me the gift of music. She took me for my first drum lesson when I was six. So whenever we're playing shows, I like to kind of bring her energy into it for me. So um, uh, I, I've gone into places, you know, I was with uh, my buddy Dave, and we walk in, and there's a paper, like a peppermint patty sitting right on the counter. And I'm like, 
And he goes, dude, why is that there? Because he knows. Mm-hmm. I go, I don't know. I go, is this? They're like, I don't know who that is. I go, do you sell these? They're like, no, we don't sell those. I'm like, well, why is it there? Someone just came in and put <laughs> one in the front of your fucking thing. So I'm like, well, it's mine. So I take it. Um, I guess there's been times when those things have appeared, which always kind of, you know, I mean, it's a piece of candy. That could mean nothing. But um, I've I've been, you know, sometimes if you're kind of thinking about, I'll, be, I'll talk to her like while I'm driving or something like that. And sometimes I, there was one time in particular I was really upset. I was after my, my nephew passed away. And um, I said something and I got this like goosebumps everywhere. And I was like, you know, and it was almost like asking her a question and it was almost like she was answering me. So... Since then, I, you know, it happens kind of a lot. Like when I'll, you know, if I'm just talking to her, like I almost feel like she answers me by doing that. It's really weird. What and do you think that means? A yes or a no? I don't know. I mean, if they or can like do that, yeah. if they can do that, you know, they say supposedly that they can affect electrical things. Your your nerves are electrical. Mm-hmm. So if, you know, if people don't pay attention to that shit, why would they bother? But if you think that they're doing that, then they know they can do it. I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's a way for them to let you know they're around. Mm-hmm. I mean, Keeping an open mind. I don't know. It could be BS, but to me, it kind of means something, even though it may sound crazy. It doesn't no, sound no. Not at all. I think that's that's a cool thing. Guy I, talks to his dead mom <laughs> and she gives him goosebumps, <laughs> man. It's fucking nuts. <laughs> I <laughs> unfollow you on Spotify <laughs> right now. <laughs> Fuck that guy. I've had a fan and lost ass. it yeah, yeah. <laughs> so quick. Fucking, no, man. I think that's, that's good shit. Fucking guy. <laughs> I will say real quick that, um, so Natalie from Gas Digital, she was on the show a couple weeks ago, and she mentioned when she was on the show that I think it was her uncle or aunt that passed away, and that um, in her parents' house, the lamp mm-hmm. kept flickering. Mm-hmm. And so we had a meeting for rap uh, earlier this week, and she was like, I was like, how amazing would it be? Because she was at her dad's house. How amazing would it be if it happened during this? But it didn't. But right afterwards, she sent me a video of it happening, of the light just turning on and off. And I was like, can, uh, I don't, uh, we can like, I'll, we'll put it in here, maybe in post, I'll send it to them. I just, it's gonna be a whole thing. But um, I was like, maybe try to like unplug it, pl- like let's like debunk a little bit, like mm-hmm. unplug it, pl- plug it in somewhere else. But for like a goosebumps, I feel like if we all willed it as much as we could right now, none of us could produce I can't goosebumps. make it happen. Yeah. But I, I was telling my friend about it in the car, and because, you know, his brother and I were really close and I was telling him that, you know, the story that somehow, you know, me talking to her helps and stuff. And I and I got goosebumps as I was talking about her. And I mean, when I say I don't mean like a couple, I mean, from my ankles to the back of my neck and all over my arms and both my everywhere. It's kind of crazy. It's never happened to me that I can think of. So, um, you know, as I'm telling him that I'm like, oh, my God, I got to take a picture. So I go to t- and they, they go away and I'm like, oh, man, I go, come on, I'll do it again. So she did it. I mean. She did it again. It happened again. I took a picture, and he was like, holy shit, are you serious? I go, yeah, it just happened twice. <laughs> so, But it doesn't happen. Like, it's not happening now. You know what I mean? I don't know. Does it happen when Figs touches your leg with his? <laughs> no, that's <laughs> no. that's more of like uh, the feeling. It's not really a goosebumps thing. It's more of a nausea, like a deep-seated nausea that starts somewhere in my bowels. I mean, electricity is electricity, my friend. <laughs> if you're feeling something electric. Like <laughs> he's just, I'm feeling something, he's happy. <laughs> When, when did uh, this is I mean if it's too personal when did your mommy pass uh 2013 okay yeah dude I don't know what I'm gonna do if my, my mom passes like I'll be crazy so you know what I mean so I'm glad you have some sort of bond I'm glad because that makes her like everlasting in in a in a physical form I feel of the like, peppermint patty you know I think that's <laughs> yeah. cool that's a cool thing that you know um it's, and and everyone knows so especially like you know like all right man break break them out you know I, I, maybe a handful of times i didn't have them or whatever and it's not like anything bad happened i'm not superstitious mm-hmm. we didn't have a terrible show because we didn't do the pepper and patty thing but there's something about it to me so it's a ritual a fun ritual yeah it's a fun it's, ritual you know and I, mean? I mean and you get to eat candy so yeah. <laughs> Which Win-win. Figs can't do. Oh yeah, <laughs> not until five twenty. Not until five twenty. I was li- I was about to get vodka and I looked. I was the like, the ramen no, thing. Just, Wait, what time is it? Yeah. Still got we're so minutes. close. No, no, no. I really got to take it seriously. I got to get jacked. Come on, like, if, if they jacked. can do the if they can do the soaking thing, you right? can do the <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, right. If, if five twenty. If their god doesn't know about the soaking thing, is no one else going to do? It's not like they were fucking. You know, is no one else going to do one more splash before we end the show? The show's over. Well, we have a couple minutes. Couple minutes. So what are, what are you doing? I'm what putting is that? that in front of you. That's vodka. Shannon, oh. behave, baby. I mean, I can read. It's not like I'm, I'm <laughs> not said, illiterate. What is it? <laughs> this is, I'm not like a stereotypical. <laughs> no, I mean, is this like for me? You're trying to get me to do a little bit of uh, this? Yeah, because I don't like to just drink Very by myself. I, I, I thought I was going to be able to make figs. Figs has never been able to it's hold only, his low power against me. Oh, it's look, only oh, because oh, of the power hour. Oh, no. It's only... 
I will in, in a couple minutes. I Jake, just, is there I'm more of this? To... Is there more what? Oh, there might be one. Something I've never thought I'd ever say in my life. Is there more white claw? I think there's one more. I think there's one more white claw in there. You guys didn't power through it all in your power <laughs> oh, hour? Dude, that's the only reason bought, I'm like sick thinking about alcohol. I think that there should be more based on how much I bought because I bought two cases. I can't imagine anyone being hung over, hung over from this stuff. It's it, like it's not a bad. It's not like oh, like, I kept no, I kept drinking all day. I get was bad it, hangovers and I didn't have. I was drinking everything. Oh, I, I drank. That would be. I had wild. a beer on the way home. I had a gin and tonic in my house. I had a glass of rosé. Rosé. I fucking just no way, rosé. <laughs> yeah, I'm straight, dude. <laughs> Uh, that I, I just yeah. Have, yeah. Once I start drinking, He's it's comfortable like, enough with his masculinity yeah, to drink rosé. Little Josh Rosé, shout, out, shout out Josh. Yeah. Oh no, I went, I went home and I was like, this is it, this is it for my night. But I, was all I do have a, a exciting news for everyone, anyone following my cat saga. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm all ears. He. Um, so he's been eating a lot Good. and almost a solid poop today. Wow. Did you take a photo of it? I did. <laughs> oh my God. I swear to God. I take a picture every day to see if it's getting more solid. I swear oh, to God. So oh, your poop. cat roll. I, I wish anybody cared about me as much as she cares about that cat. I love him that, so much. Like, my know. baby. I love him so much. I would pay good money to see your camera roll right now. Just little <laughs> fucking brown, little, little white turds. Little turds. No, not white. They're not white. Oh, this one's a little runny. <laughs> they're, they're all running. She's making getting little better. notes on it. <laughs> Look, he's getting better. Look at the turds. <laughs> <laughs> does, does your phone you know your phone sometimes like creates a photo album yeah, for you in like does it have one just says shit <laughs> <laughs> from 2022 yeah. to 2023 she's on shit. this on this day <laughs> <laughs> little inspirational we'll <laughs> stitch a bunch of pictures yeah. together in, for you in like two Non-life years from now in the like some music <laughs> it'll fade in and fade out yeah. in like two years from now it's gonna be like Three versions of little guy's poop, and then like uh, three different pictures of Rob that I was trying to find for the image for today. <laughs> like, that's gonna, that's gonna be what the this camera is. gonna be roll shit, is. shit, shit, and one photo. So I was what I was considering was um, because. <laughs> so he has. Oh, oh yeah, cheers, yeah, he cheers, right. cheers every air, cheers. Oh, figs. Ten I, I minutes. Gotta be figs. Good. I gotta be a good boy. I could do it. I have to. I'm. This is the only. It's my last chance of trying to really lose weight. I mean, that's I'm a good real. I could fast. That's a scary way of saying it. Yeah, I know, right? So, just to wrap this up, so yeah. when I saw that his poop was kind of solid, <laughs> and he's there just to get, <laughs> back <laughs> to, the the get back to the shit, get back to the poop, and that he's been he's been eating so much. Like I've gone through maybe fifty cans of cat food this week. Good. Like he is going in. And so I wanted to kind of cancel his sonogram appointment because it's going to be six hundred dollars. And uh, but I weighed him today because like I weigh myself and then I hold him and then I weigh him every day just to see if he's gaining weight. But he's only seven pounds, mm-hmm. so he's gained one pound since he's been eating again. So I feel all like those that's pictures not good. of shit are all the cans of cat food <laughs> that just dumped right through him without any nutritive. But he gained a whole a whole pound, and it's, I feel like if you're well, si- yeah. he started at six, <laughs> you're six so like, pounds. Yeah, and now that's you're a seven. lot. Yeah, that's yeah. like twenty percent or yeah, I or can't do math. Fifteen percent or something. I don't know. One of those numbers. Yeah. But he's getting better. He's getting better, but I feel like it's staying at seven pounds. So I feel like I still have to do the sonogram, but I still have to now starve him for twelve hours before the sonogram, which is what's really mm. bothering me. That I, like I don't want to starve him when he's only seven 600 pounds. Six hundred bananas. They don't let you. They don't let you do a payment plan. <laughs> She's like, like, I'm not feeding what? him any bananas. No, that's just like cat. Like, whatever, like 600 bucks. She's right. so concerned. Like, <laughs> like, like, you're fucking cat of banana. Like, did I say something that I don't they remember? I just said something really banana. random. <laughs> yeah, Aluminum <laughs> foil in the midwinter is crazy, right? Like, so what the fuck? Did I see that? <laughs> no. That's like the universal amount to bring anything to the vet is six hundred bucks. Anytime well, I bring anything to the vet, it's six hundred dollars. What other things do you bring to the vet? <laughs> well, either cats, either of the two cats. Well, the the emergency vet though, I spent nine hundred dollars last crazy. week. It's well, that's because it's emergency. They charge an extra three. It's freaking crazy. <laughs> and they don't, no payment plan. They don't do afterpay. No, but that's what no. I always wonder. It's like at the end, if now that I have my cat back and they give me the bill, what if I run out the door? What are yeah. you going to do? They have a guy who chases you. Do they? He's got I've a never seen no, go to a <laughs> you don't want You don't want them to sick the Doberman on you. I mean, you don't they, want like, him. Are they going to take, Get take my... <laughs> are they going to like take my cat back? Like, What will they do? They're going to get him sick again. <laughs> no. They're going to give him his illness oh, back. No. Someone's going to hit him with a little syringe and you don't see him. Just <laughs> now he's sick again. Sorry. Yeah. So, I don't know. What, what would you do with your cat? Gained weight, eating, almost solid poop, but still skinny. Would you do the sonogram and have to starve them for twelve hours? Um, so it's like the twelve. It's like you're putting your cat into Ramadan. 
<laughs> Purposely. Wow. Full circle. Yes. Full circle. We're back. Just give him a little segue. bit of vodka. Yeah. A little bit of vodka, just no, a food. Bit of vodka <laughs> yes. no food. Yeah. Just give him bone broth, right? It's bone broth. We had that discussion. He's allowed to have bone broth. Bone marrow broth. Bone, bone, bone marrow, marrow bone broth. Marrow. Yeah. He's allowed to have that. Just a, let, him, a, let him drink from the mikvah. Mitzvah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> give him some mikvah water. It's filled <laughs> with proteins. It's filled with all kinds Iron. of... <laughs> red yeah. blood cells, <laughs> clots, <laughs> little bits of yeah, tampon. No, <laughs> wait, they're probably not allowed to use tampons either. That's probably yeah, a kosher, use. a kosher tampon. They probably have like more. How do we get back on this? So, so <laughs> to segue oh back God, to your dude. cat, I would. I mean, look, if if you're really worried about him, I would bring him. You know, I would, I would do like get him. You know, fatten him up. I don't <laughs> like, like that. Word. Hey, I don't like that. <laughs> so should That's I? That's the line. I ain't crossing the line. <laughs> so should I? I can say retard, but I can't <laughs> say, say fat, fat around, around here. <laughs> Not right here. <laughs> so should I delay it longer <laughs> so that he gains weight, or just get it done now? Because here's what they said. I'm sorry, no one cares about this. Maybe the animal lovers out there do. So they said it's. They said they think it's either like a feline IBS. It's like a different combination of letters, not IBS. Or cancer, which they say for literally everything. And that because they feel like that his intestinal walls are thick, which I don't know how they feel like just from feeling his body. <laughs> but either way, they said that you're they. trying so hard not to laugh. <laughs> he's like. He doesn't mm-hmm. love animals. That's why. Uh, he doesn't care. Well, you're talking no, about someone's animals. intestinal walls right now. So. <laughs> you said he got an irritable bowel syndrome, the cat? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, my sweet little angel baby. Oh. <laughs> uh, so they said, though, that uh, regardless of what. With the thick intestinal walls, they can't. Sorry. <laughs> I, I would like to know. Did they have like a micrometer on one of his intestinal walls? How do they know how they thick they f- are? With, so she just like felt his stomach with her hand. Specialist was nine hundred dollars. Yeah. No, that this is the regular. Ah, oh, six. Oh, never mind. So then he's right. Yeah. She sucks. She sucks. No micrometer. Yeah, you need a micrometer. But... She, stuck, she stuck her finger in one end of him, and then she was palpating on the outside. Oh, they did have to do that. They did have to oh, do really? that. Thermo- no, they kidding. did a therm. No, they oh. did a thermometer. But I was like, I couldn't even watch. Poor little guy. I had to look away. I can't even deal with it. But um. He thought was he, he, was was he like meow? No, he's so, he's so good. That's what, this is when I I posted the thing where I said, did does anybody else's vet look at their animal because like my vet looks at his face and says i love you so much Mm -hmm. because he's such a sweet little angel but um so she said all the other people who own cats go there he said no no no, they don't that's part of his shtick (laughs) they don't say that she says mean things to the other cats yeah that is fucking piece of shit yeah they're like you're fine but you're not little guy chauncey again (laughs) chauncey Chauncey. (laughs) so they said that in the sonogram if they see, like, they're going to see, like, the thickened intestinal walls, <laughs> that they can't tell the difference between IBS or cancer, and they'll have to do um, a biopsy. Mm. Oh. So, basically, the sonogram means nothing cha-ching, then. Cha-ching, cha-ching, that's all I hear is cha-ching. And I'm not putting a 15-year-old cat through a biopsy. Just let him rock. Yeah, yeah. Let him rock. He's having a good time. He's eating. He gained a pound. Let him rock, right? Yeah, I don't know what to do. It's it, Thursday. He's not. He's showing do good you, signs. Do you trust this vet or... I don't know how much I really trust that. That was not a very. I know. That did not instill trust. Mm. That look, you went. <sighs> I know. Because if I. You're I like, just absolutely don't... no. I absolutely. Tr-, you know. But see, first, she suckered you in by going, I love you so much. And I then know. she's like, I love yes, you so much. Yes. This is going to be another $1,500. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love you so much. You're the best. Case. You're my favorite little <laughs> you know, meal card. ticket right here. <laughs> yeah. His nickname is Meal Ticket. Like, oh, when's our meal ticket appointment? He's coming in. All right. Damn. I don't know. If he, I, I think, is he, if he seems okay and he seems like he's he's doing all right, he's, he's doing better. Yeah, if he's doing better. I don't know. I mean, the, there's time to get that later. I mean, because honestly, if he has, you know, the c word, if he has that, yeah, you're not going to operate on him. No, you're not going to do chemo. Not. You're not going to, you know, you're not going to give him radiation treatment or anything like that. So, no. um, but I, but it it would be good to maybe just know that, though. You even had though him since he was a, a baby cat, since he was <laughs> this big. He was this big. Carl That's why puppy. a little guy. Not even <laughs> yes. He was such a, a tiny little bitty. He was like a little, yeah. Yeah. Then I got him because my other cat, Jax, who passed away, may he rest in peace. When I, I, I got him, no one cares about this, but I got him when I, I broke my leg and then my boxing trainer at the time was like, oh, you're stuck home. You have nothing to do. And she rescued cats. And she's like, I have a kitten. Do you want it? And I was like, yes, I do. So I got Jax. And then when I went back to work two months later, she's like, um... I was like, do you have another kitten? Because I don't want to just like leave him alone. And that's when I got Little Guy. So Little Guy was like Jax's pet. And now Little Guy, who is the one that had diabetes, and he was a sickly one, like he's the one that's still here. And he's doing good and he gained a pound. Yeah. Do you give him, give him special food? 
No, I just like I go through. Uh, he changes his mind on what he likes all the time. So mm. I just like my aunt says that my house looks like a, a pet food store because mm. I have a thousand <laughs> variations of stuff and whatever he feels like at the time. Oh, he picks good. it. Yeah. He picks it. He does. <laughs> no, it. not not like that. I just like leave. <laughs> <laughs> I just like leave out like several ones when he's being picky and he like picks the one. But the one right now, he loves it. I, I go through Mitzvah like. Stew? Which, which flavor is it? It's a, it's a fancy feast <laughs> senior. <laughs> Mitzvah. <laughs> Mitzvah. 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 Sorry. It's a 16 year old thing. I'm a woman now. <laughs> I'm a woman now. Oi, ugh, he's look at me. He's a man. <laughs> he's a boy, right? Shalom. <laughs> Shalom. Whatever. Shalom. Shalom. Schmucky. <laughs> Oh boy! What is our cancel? <laughs> what, what's our hard out time? I feel like Kanye got canceled for way less. Yeah, I know. Right. Shannon, as far as I'm concerned, you you can let this go as long <laughs> as you'd like. Hey man, 5:22. I'm pa- I'm yakking down a vodka. That's you got I'm half saying. a bottle of vodka right oh, there. The, we, I'm we yakking have to, a bottle. Do you have a hard out? <laughs> Excuse me. A hard out. <laughs> is that a hard no? Is that do I have every time you say limits? thick or hard? He's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah. Do you have a time that you have to leave here? No, I mean I'm already going to get stuck in traffic, so I I, I probably will be. I'm fine. How far? Where do you live? Like how far? Jersey. Jersey? Uh, it took me um, like 40 minutes to get here. <sighs> I'm trying to save my money and move to Jersey, dude. Got to get out of the Bronx. Mm, Tired of the this shit. Boogie down is no good for you. I've done it my whole life. I paid my dues. I'm done. Okay. All right, if I see another guy on speakerphone, I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> I'm going to oh, lose boy. my mind. Another guy on speakerphone? Yeah, everybody in the program is on fucking speakerphone. Oh, oh, oh right, was good. A building fell down the other day. Really? Yeah. They were do fucking doing too much Bad Bunny and Daddy Yankee. The building fell down. Does that have to do with talking on speakerphone? Yeah, the people, I'm pretty sure the people that <laughs> caused it were guys that liked to go on speakerphone for no reason. Can't drink now. <laughs> yeah, you, look, I'm turning it. I'm turning it. Literally Anthony 45 Kumia. seconds. <laughs> I need to drink before Kumia comes out fully. <laughs> Wait, is the, the, is the sun more. down? Is the sun down, Ramadan? Yeah, 520. <laughs> can you? Yeah. Can you pour for me? I can't touch the bottle. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I told you. I told you. We did it. I didn't think we were gonna make it. Did we do your your whole segment? Did we? I mean, I don't know how scary what I said was. I didn't. But no, 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 no. I'm good. It was para. It was para somewhat abnormal no that is completely Wait, so acceptable. is there a difference between paranormal and para abnormal para oh, abnormal broke paranormal. my brain para, or is, para, is, para, is para, para abnormal, abnormal like queso cheese <laughs> para, para. is that what that is is para oh, abnormal you're right dude just short sir I think I have goosebumps <laughs> you short circuited you my brain. oh dude. You you my mom is my mom, mom is all over you know? my mom likes you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit have you ever seen anything that was kind of weird. <clears throat> you felt it, but have you ever not seen... drug induced? It could be drug induced. Whatever. I mean, I've seen some crazy shit drug induced, but I just oh, kind of assumed acceptable. it was that. I kind of assumed it was that. What have you done, like DMT? Yes. Let's yeah. hear that. <laughs> she was <laughs> like, great shit is I love this guy. I so, don't uh, like it. So, <laughs> I'm liking you both less. I less would less like to remind you that you invited me on here. I, so yes, this yeah. is this is your doing. I'm yeah, here because that's all I hear. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> late. Wait, is, was, was that it? Was, late. was that the moment? Finger missing her you can't, you can't let me drink. That's not. This is, you know. I knew that the two of you on this side of the table were going to turn on me. Wait, I, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. Yeah. I just, <laughs> two jacks. And studs. now he's drinking too. It's I'm about be, to drink. Right. I'm, I'm counting down the. You seconds. didn't even do your shot. Oh, I'm, I'm sipping. Oh, all right. I'm my sipping bad. it. I didn't. I can't. Okay. I didn't think that's what, how they did it. No, I can't. Shannon I can't does, do a full yeah. shot. Shannon sips I vodka. Doesn't like it mixed. And here we go. Salud, everybody. Oh, there you go. Cheers. There we go. I hit it. Ugh. Okay, what's the question being answered? Yeah. Oh, DMT. Oh. Pull up more mitzvah stuff. Yeah. Okay, no, not DMT. <laughs> <laughs> not mitzvah. Mitzvah's a mitzvah. good deed. Mitzvah. 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 Mitzvah's a good deed. A mitzvah? Yeah. I thought a mitzvah was like, like a, a bar, a bar or a bat mitzvah. A bat mitzvah, yeah. So maybe it's a no, party? No, isn't a mitzvah a good deed? Someone... No, we did him a mitzvah. Maybe, <laughs> maybe it's a favor. Isn't it that? Yeah, like a good deed. Favor. You have someone that looks that stuff We know up. nothing yeah. about <laughs> Jewish people. <laughs> we're, we're, uh, somewhere, someone who is super kosher is like, Oi, these Oi. fucking people suck. You're yeah, wrong sorry. about everything. You're wrong about everything. You're it's wrong terrible. About it. A um, mitzvah <laughs> is a de- decisive act that embodies empathy and kindness while bringing us closer to others. Yeah. So a bat mitzvah, a bar mitzvah, 
it would be a decisive act that brings us closer to someone becoming a man. But what is the bar? Bot and bar mitzvah. Yeah. So bot is a girl, bar mitzvah is a guy, is a boy. Right, but I don't know how like the good deed com- comes into You're that. You're becoming a man or a woman. <laughs> <laughs> you'll you'll, earn the, you'll hear is you get a you get a the cool scroll. So, they the give you a scroll. Is killing me. You're becoming a man. You become a man or woman. They give you a scroll, and you get a party at Dave and Buster's. <laughs> there you go. Congrats. Not anymore. No, they have like full. I worked. I I used to work at the Plaza Hotel, yeah. and I, I I worked a bar mitzvah, and it was the wildest shit I've ever seen, dude. They had actors in the crowd oh, as yeah. waiters pretending to be bad waiters, magicians, people writing Pretend poems. To like be it bad was, waiters. Yeah, it was hilarious. So there's this one guy who comes, he's like, I'm an actor, and he wore our uniform, and he was like giving away drinks, and he will like drink a drink in front of somebody. So then at the end, they're like, everybody, if you met Jonathan, he's not a real person. And then he'll be like, oh, I'm an actor. Huh? And he'll be like, oh, thank God. Hilarious. Like, it was so stupid. <laughs> but, it was fun, but, but, but that was like the, the stupidest thing. Besides that, they had like Bouncy Castle fucking chocolate fountain. I feel it like if you're up. trying to make someone become a man, giving them a bouncy castle is not <laughs> the pathway to that. It's for the little ones. That's not for the, the little For the hobbits <laughs> to play. Go ahead. It's time to leave the bouncy <laughs> castle behind now, sir. And you need to get into like porn wild. and booze. <laughs> yeah. Now. Get ready yeah. to pre- pre- uh, prepare the, uh, what is it? Mik- mikvah? To prepare the... What's the other one? The mikvah is the... Mikvah. Well, that would be yeah. for the girl once yeah. she has her menses. Yeah, so the guys prepare it. You know a lot about this the, stuff. <laughs> this is what we've learned about the Jewish? episode. No, not, oh. This is no. what we've learned together throughout the episode. Yeah, yeah we learned a lot of Jewish, we Jewish came, studies. We came into this, you know, complete shiksas or shikshos. <laughs> yeah, shikshos. We were but a no, I think a, a male shiksa is a goy, I think. Yeah, a goy. We were pretzel sticks when we walked in and now we're full Goya <laughs> demons. Goya. Know, Goya, Goya yeah. that's your thing. Yeah, I'm all right. That was Dude, I'm serious. Kanye got canceled for way less than one. <laughs> oh, I uh, know. He lost a bajillion dollars from Adidas for way, way less than this. We're not saying we hate them. We're just no, trying no, to figure I it out. Them. I love them. I, I worked for them for... A, them. M- I almost married one. Yeah, it was a family-run business. I worked for them from when I was about 17 to like maybe 39. Wow. Yeah. What's the question that we're answering? DMT. DMT. Oh, DMT. Wow, man, you brought it right <laughs> yeah, back. Yeah, good memory. I get that's, it. That's she's got puts on She's got good puts in her head. This is oh, <laughs> you're just trying to get back into my good graces. That's why, that's why it's making your show. Fun of me. Yeah. Well, was one thing. I did one thing in my what entire career knowing you. My entire career in your life, I made do one. Do impression again. What was it? You're like, look, look, look. What'd you do? Can you do it again? That was great. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to make that a soundboard. Every time Shani gets mad at me, I'm going to press it. She's going to be like, look, look, look over here. Fucking glick, glick. <laughs> she hates me. Now. No, she officially hates me. Um, yeah. No. So, D- so um, I have a friend who runs a program in Mexico where they do recovery stuff for you know people with addiction issues, and they use um, ayahuasca, they use ibogaine, um, and DMT, which they call changa. There, they they use cambo. It's like all the plant medicines. Isn't um, changa and DMT two different things? No, so changa is like the smokable version of DMT, which is similar to the, the what they make ayahuasca out of. So, um, it, excuse me, but you can't feed me booze and get nope. upset if I burp into the no, mic. Not so. upset about it. I will not burp into it because <laughs> no. Jay will be like, "Dude, why does this mic smell like?" Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow. That's tomorrow. Yeah. They'll be like, "This this mic smells like Yule's." <laughs> this mic smells. What's wrong with it? Is that like your Yule. big J like impression? Generation X. <laughs> like big J impression. Hey, hey easy on hey, hey, hey. <laughs> They all yep. skanks all sound yes, like loose. Yes, we drank hose water. Okay, it's true. not Generation X. <laughs> generation <laughs> kills Shannon. No, it's Generation X. We are because Jay is Jay Gen X or no? Yes, right. I don't know. What's Z? <laughs> Gen Z. No, Gen Z is, is... Is that the new one? Like that's the that Brad Pitt Gen movie? Z is, yeah. huh? Gen Z is that Brad Pitt movie with those zombies? <laughs> yeah, Gen, World War Gen Z. <laughs> Gen Z. <laughs> World yeah. War Gen Z, yeah. something like that, yeah. Yes, they all drink from the hose oh, water and they go crazy. Iranians. All these Iranians. They go crazy. Yeah. These Egyptians are climbing There's on each other. crazy ADD happening in here. <laughs> <laughs> crazy places. DMT. I'm starving. DMT. All right, yeah, so... <laughs> Do you want to get a snack? So, no. so my, my friend runs a program and, like, you know, uh, we... Put my we sent my nephew to him, and uh, while I was doing a recording session in L.A., he had been doing the other treatments. And when he was ready to do his ayahuasca treatment, I drove down, uh, took a you know walked over the border, took an, an Uber, and did the ayahuasca treatment with them. And while you're doing the ayahuasca, they also have you like you drink the ayahuasca, and it's a very similar thing. But then you take hits of the DMT to kind of like oh my you know so ayahuasca like you drink it, and over the course of you kind of. But when you take a hit of it, you're like, 
and then you kind of parachute back down again. And um, the woman that is his shaman, she's maybe, I don't know, maybe 60 or something. She's this little tiny little person. 60. 60 okay. years old. Yeah, 16. Yeah, 60. <laughs> Six zero. And, um, you're you know. Thanks you're in Thailand? <laughs> Where were you? Tumo. Tumo TMT. I'm 16 years old. You too. You do it. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. No, no so, so uh, you know, during the course of this, all of a sudden she looks like the Land of Lakes, you know. Yeah. She's like, you know, yeah. uh, it, she turns into this little, you know, 16 year old looking <laughs> yeah, princess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, it was wild. It was really, really intense. And she, where they, they had it, it was like all black tile. And in between, all the grout turned into like energy. And when you looked down, you could see into the. It was oh, wild. shit. Really, really wild. So, did you have a your own separate shaman so she runs it and you know they'll they'll put like an altar so there's one person over everybody she's running everything and then there was like it usually he'll still have like a nurse or two just in case and uh everyone's got like a comfortable place to to be and um I, you know i can hear him going uh, 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 uh. like I, can, I knew it was him and then i don't know i'm going who the hell is screaming what the hell is that who's screaming why is someone screaming? And I wait, that's me. Why am I screaming? <laughs> you know, oh, like, shit. And then, and then you wake, you're kind of like, look around. And then, you know, it was, it was really wild. But you don't remember like anything you saw? Um, so out of the two, I, I've done the, the, um, Ibogaine is sort of the masculine version of that. So Ibogaine, when you do that, it removes you from the emotional connection to any of your trauma and allows you to kind of get deep into it and leaf through it from a, a, a more practical standpoint. So you get to see the things you've been through without the, the burden of the pain and all that other stuff. And you're going, wow, that wasn't my fault. Oh, this, yeah, that was my fault. I need to like make amends for that. Or, you know, and you can kind of sift through all of your junk. Like when you made fun of me, like if yeah, you were so to, that, Yeah, so that I'll be like, yeah, that was my fault. I need to go back and I need to say, Shannon, I'm really sorry for that. I will not do that again. Okay. So, all right, so there's that. Um, then, th which is why he does all these things mm -hmm. in that place because you get to hit things from all different angles. So then when you do the, the um, ayahuasca, it's none of the practicality and it's all of the unexpressed pain and, and emotions and, and all that stuff. So uh, the, when they do three nights of it, the first night, it's generally purging of unexpressed pain, unhealed trauma and all this other stuff. So from what I've heard, those first nights are usually like, blah, you know, everyone's, you know, puking, you know, various different types of screaming or this or that. And, you know, um, little guy poops. Yeah, well, did you give him ayahuasca? That could be why he's not well. You gotta hand him some to try it. I don't know. If the, I don't know if that's good for cats. <laughs> right away, we're back to cat shit. We've segued back to cat shit, dude. <laughs> Here we are. Not fully formed cat shit. I think you should it's take a sip close. of your vodka for that. One. It's pretty close <laughs> to fully formed there. today, guys. Here's so the cat close. shit. Here's the Cheers. little. Cheers, little guy's little guy. So yeah. Um, <laughs> what's 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 night two like? Like when do you have pleasure? Well, so the first, the first uh, after the first night, I was like, I don't want to do that again. Yeah. Said, no, no, you have to. I'm like, I don't have to do fucking anything. <laughs> I'm not yeah, yeah, like, yeah. No, 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 it won't be like the same. And explain to me that a lot of times the the first night you're, I mean, the things I was experiencing, um, like my grandfather was an orphan. Uh, his his um, his foster family owned a farm, and they gave him like a small piece of, of land that anything you grow on there, you can use for your education. And he put himself through Cornell University. So, you know, that was my, what I knew. But then when all this started happening, I started slowly creeping back up through my family tree. You know, my sister, some of the trauma that I'm aware of and experiencing that. And I feel like you're you're purging all of this stuff. It's all coming out through you, and you're and you're you're having these empathetic moments for people in your family and your your things you know about your mom or your dad or. And looking at them in a way that you've never, um, you, you never would have even considered. And and because all of the practicality and all the logic and all that shit is gone, you're just it's pure emotion. So that first night was not fun. Yeah. But you realize that all that shit is in you anyway, mm -hmm. and it, it's been sitting in there leaching toxic stuff into you, um, your trauma, everyone around you. You know, you've been absorbing that for your whole life. So when you're getting it out, you're kind of like, you know. Oh, that had to come out anyway. So as unpleasant as it was, that's been what's been causing this kind of ugh for all these years. So, you know. Quick question. So yeah. are you really getting it out or are you just like having a surge of it in a moment and it's still kind of like there after? Well, so uh, all right. So the whole next day I was in a shitty mood. I'm like, oh, no, that's normal. I'm like, yeah, that's normal. Yeah, fuck you. But uh, somewhere around, you know, three, four o'clock in the afternoon, you're like, hmm. 
suddenly feel like a little di- like it's like a good difference or something. And then they talked me into doing the second night, and it was a whole different thing. It was like this beautiful experience. Um, it was like it was a whole different introduction, and that's when like she looked like the Land of Lakes lady, and she was just beautiful, and she was almost conducting the energy in the room, and she had this blanket that turned into this giant serpent. It was wild. Did was it a different chemical they were giving you? No, no. So we, the exact we drank, same thing. Yeah, we drank ayahuasca, and I mean, she's she's got a whole arsenal full of you know. So she's guiding you, and she's yeah. basically like, okay, now whatever you were thinking about yesterday, she probably told you other things to like. Well, so focus I, she, on. so she didn't speak a lick of English. Oh shit, uh, Spanish. Okay. She's from Mexico. She doesn't speak any English, and um, she had you know, I guess she just kind of guides everyone through the first night because but it's do miserable. Do you understand any Spanish? No, Is there any I mean, I, I understand a little bit, but not in that moment. I was like, but so this is the th- so the second night when you're having this crazy stuff and you're thinking about all these things, and um, she she gets up again. She's this little tiny like Mayan princess type person. She comes over to me and um, she puts something on the the music because there's all music going on too. So she puts music on and she pressed her forehead to mine and she said she said mother and like really quiet in English. That was the only word she said. And all of a sudden, I felt this, like, transfer of energy. And I knew that she knew that my mom had passed. And she was like, you know, so tears and this oh, and that. Shit. And you're like, ugh, yeah. you know. And and she and then she just put her arms around me. And it, it's this empathy thing. It was crazy. Beautiful. Really beautiful. Wow. And, um, and it was that kind of thing the second night where it's all um, like a nostalgia sort of a thing. Mm-hmm. It's almost like you're saying goodbye to the pain that you got out the day before. So... Uh, I thought, well, I mean, what could night three be about? And they're like, no, no, you gotta, you gotta do this. So um, night, night three, I was like, all right, now you're just showing off because it was so beautiful. Everything was um, shining and beautiful, and and you're seeing these like landscapes and all this crazy stuff that was happening. And um, it was definitely like they said, that's like you're you're saying goodbye. Like the first night is purging, the second night is nostalgia and like saying goodbye to that, and the third night is sort of a like a. Like you're saying goodbye to the, to to everything, and, and it's sort of a gift to take with you. It was beautiful, so. Um, wow, dude. And so you think like it made a difference? Overall? For me, it was huge. Yeah, huge. Because I, I mean, I never even thought of some of the things that occurred to me during all that, and I never, um, I didn't know any of that was even in there. Because uh, we bury that, we stuff it down. It's hidden with like scar tissue, and you know. Um, coping mechanisms and substance abuse and this and that and whatever whatever kind of things we've dumped on that over the years growing up and so forth and so on and then you're you're faced with it and you can't get away from it you can't run from it so it and then it comes out and then you're like all right there it is and then the second night it was just you know almost like like again because that's stuff you lived with for a long time so to say goodbye to that and let it go you know that's a different type of a of a thing, it's a whole different energy. It's just weird because it's the same exact. You, you know, drink one or two or three cups of it, and it tastes like, like old licorice or something. It's really, <laughs> it's, it's not herbaly kind of. Yeah. yeah. Well, and then again, like you know, while you're doing it, then they're you're taking hits of the you know the changa, which is so the third night. It's almost like all right, what well, now? I'm just like doing this on purpose because it's crazy. Like as soon as you would take a hit of it, you're like. The walls disappear, and you see like this whole different landscape. You're in a whole different place. That's um, wild. Yeah. Were you guys like everyone there? Like you guys are fucking hugging, like yo, this is amazing. Wow. That's I mean, crazy. So by the third night, yeah. Yeah. And then when we're leaving, everyone's like, because I mean, I I didn't know everyone there. You know, I mean, I knew my nephew, mm-hmm. but um, you know, I didn't know the other people, and I you don't know where they're coming from or how bad it was. Uh, it's it's a safe bet if they're there they're a little privileged at least because that's not like a state funded thing there's no one coming out of oh yeah we're we're putting you in an ayahuasca thing from the jail you know so if you're there someone cares enough about you to kind of you know it's not cheap there's like a private chef that does like a full vegan experience to get your body ready to receive all that because you know you can't just walk in there all toxic and crazy and take a bunch of chemicals uh, you know, they, they he takes uh, great care in preparing them, and, and they've got, you know, IV drips of, of uh, NAD and all this other stuff that they do. So, so it's expensive and it's legit. Well, it's super legit. Uh, I mean, you know, expensive compared to what? Like a compared regular... Compared to a, a cat vet visit. Well, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's considerably more... But compared to like a regular a rehab where they put you in, you know, mm-hmm. a three-week thing where they don't do any of that. They like give you like, you know, 
minimal medication to get you off the shit, and then they they introduce you to AA or NA, yeah, and, and then you know they send you on your way, mm-hmm. sink or swim. This is different, and I think that the because I mean maybe eight months after, six months after, I, you know, I was playing with a different band. I had a show in New York, and um, he, my nephew, brought his girlfriend at the time. I didn't see him for a few months, and he looked so clear. He was so crisp. He was very like his skin was clear. He was he was sharp. He was funny. He was mm-hmm. articulate. The two of them seemed connected. So um, I think like anything, you need to maintain that. You know, like he he got a little hard hard reset on his. You know, it's like like putting Our your psyche. iPhone back. To, yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. Your, it's like putting your iPhone back to factory settings mm-hmm. for a minute. But you need to kind of hit the ground running and, and make some kind of um, new coping mechanisms and get that stuff in place so that you, when life happens, because after that, COVID happened and, um, you know, so forth and so on. And, I, you know, he wasn't really prepared for that. Is so. this your nephew that passed yeah. away? Yeah. How did he pass away? He overdosed. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay. So, so he was good. He was good for, I mean, I mean, that was maybe four years ago. So there was maybe two or three years after that. And I mean, like I said, after, after I saw him maybe six months later, and that was the picture that we used for his, like in my, my car, there's a prayer card. Mm -hmm. And it was the picture I took that night when he came to see me play in New York Mm -hmm. that he's, you know, he looked great talking to him. He was clear. He was sharp. He was funny. Mm -hmm. Um, But you know, like I said, I think if you don't hit the ground running and really start to build coping mechanisms and get some stuff in place Mm -hmm. so that when life happens, you have something to do. So when everything around them kind of put them to the, yeah, I see what you're saying. I've the, seen. I can't remember. Uh, what are the names of the? There's two guys that are like the fathers of like acid and stuff like that. I can't. Their, their names. I <laughs> Timothy can't. Timothy Leary. Of, yes, 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 yes. All right, yeah. Where they and then there's like a a son or something. There's like another name, another Leary. But they said that like a uh, taking... Dennis Leary. <laughs> 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 You're an asshole. Yo, yo. Yeah, no. But they say that like taking psychedelics is like. Uh, getting to the top of the mountain to like see what's coming Mm -hmm. so like you see what's coming but then you still have to like prepare for it so that makes sense but like at least he it also it's kind of like if things are kind of like meant to happen Uh maybe it was still meant to happen that way but he had some time of clarity yeah i I, so i mean my sister his mom uh she's a very practical person she's very strong she's one of my closest friends in in this life and you know, losing a, a child is horrible, and it really, really was difficult for her. But um, one of the things I think that got her through that was just this is his story. This is, you know, we did the best we could. Um, he did what he was meant to do while he was here. And actually, the woman that I had that reading with, um, I was, she was talking about my mom, and she was like, "Oh, who's the young person that she's with?" And she was like, "Oh, she was like your nephew." She was like, "I'm so sorry," and I was like, Ugh. "You know," and she was like, "You know, he's where he's supposed to be now." You know, he's not suffering anymore. And I was like, Ugh, you know, yeah, and man, I'll break you down. Yeah. And she's like, did you get a tattoo for him? I was like, I didn't. <laughs> she, she goes to more than one. Part, yeah, her, his sister and his brother. We all got tattoos of his drawings. He he was he wanted to be a tattoo artist. And I think one of the things with him is that he didn't really have enough time to get some shit to lose. He didn't get enough time to be, you know, like one of the things that keeps people from just doing whatever is. You get some stuff to lose. You get good at this. You you start to invest in things, and they start to you know you have a life. And he, you know, he would kind of hit the ground running, sort of. But he was still a bicycle messenger, and he was like waiting tables and you know doing jobs that people get to just make a couple bucks so they can not have withdrawal. But um, he started to draw some stuff, and uh, the story that my sister. Her middle child, her daughter, went to SCAD, which is a really good art school, and they were going through his drawings, and she was like, what does this one mean? And my, my niece said, oh, that doesn't mean anything. None of his drawings meant anything. And my sister was like, I don't know. I think this one means something. Ah, none of them meant anything. They're all just weird mic drawings. It didn't mean anything. So she's like, all right. So she went to sleep that night, and um, my sister gets these vivid dreams, and uh, my mom has been in them, and she's had the, she'll wake up and call me. Oh, my God. So she had this dream, and boom, her son was in it, and he was really annoyed. And she was like, oh, my God, Mike, I'm so happy to see you. He was like, uh, they say love is blind, but what if the heart could see? And she was like, what? And then he was really annoyed that she wasn't paying attention. And he said it again, they say love is blind, but what if the heart could see? And she was like, ah. And then he was gone. And she woke up, and her boyfriend at the time was like, what? what's going on? Are you okay? Because there was heat coming off her, but she was cold to the touch. And she was like, I don't know. So then it dawned on her. She's like, that drawing it's a heart with an eye in the middle of it. So I have that tattooed right here. Wait, there you go. Yeah. He drew that? So he, well, I mean, he didn't tattoo it on me. But, but he, he drew that? He, that he drew, drew that. He, that's the drawing that he drew. I can't, there. 
Uh, so that's a, that. He's a good artist. That's well, really yeah. nice. So he was drawing like flash art and stuff. And yeah. um, so uh, yeah, my sister was like, oh my, you know. So that was what that meant to her. But um, I don't, why did why did that come up? <laughs> <laughs> no, you said because because uh, his some, his sister or something was like, ah, these mean nothing. Yeah, well, his, so she his, had his like sister thing, was yeah. like, ah, it doesn't mean anything. But my sister was like, I don't know, so, there's something to these drawings that means something. And then, you know, in the dream. Um, love but is blind, so but the heart she, can see. That's beautiful, yeah, man. Love, what, nice they say love is blind. What if the heart can see? What if your heart had an eye in the middle of it? And I put that there because maybe he's trying to let me know. Like, I need to start paying attention who I give my heart to, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> I'm not giving it to you, bro. Look, you're a nice guy, dude. Uh, listen, we can hang out. We can bro His it leg out. is on top of my leg right now. <laughs> For the viewers at home, I can't see under the table. Completely on top of my life. We can hang out, dude. I'm not even saying that, but I just—it's just not my bag, bro. It's, it's not my bag, it's baby. It's not my bag, baby. It's not my bag, That's it. baby. Do push-ups so, together. But, look, you know, uh, listen, you want me to help you get in shape? I'll help you get in shape, dude. With man. our pants on. Yeah. I'm, just saying. I'm out of it then. No, that sweatpants, it's sweatpants. It's <laughs> pantsless or it's you nothing. Gray sweatpants, commando. Gray sweatpants. Uh, that dude, I want to do that trip, man. That yeah, ayahuasca was, thing sounds, it, sounds it wild, wild, man. Yeah, I also want to see your nephew's drawings. Yeah, I mean, so it, it both. So my, I his, bet there's a lot of people who would be interested and would get that's his a, younger if they brother. Look like that, like that's a sick tattoo. Them. His younger brother has like four of them, and his sister, who is the youngest, has a bunch of them too. After oh, yeah. she kind of shit on his artwork, ah, they don't mean anything. Maybe she was them. upset too. Was this no, like after? Yeah, no, it was before. It was yeah, it was like right after, and they were all kind of mad at him a little bit. Of course, yeah, you know. Um, I like think the site I meant, you know, griefing. That's a that's like the grieving. Yeah, society, one of the signs, you know, anger. Yeah, yeah. One, I don't know which which one that is. Something. Right, there's denial. Know. There's saying. There's bargaining. Mm -hmm. Acceptance. Mm -hmm. Acceptance. Yeah. We got them it's all. True. We learned so much during this episode. Yeah. This is the <laughs> most we've ever learned. The mikvah. What is education? No, I'm taking the mikvah <laughs> away from this. this I've is learned the, so much. Oh, the period trips. stew. Yeah. Period Fucking the, the, jacu the Jewish jacuzzis. <laughs> yeah. I've Jewish learned jacuzzis. a lot on this episode. <laughs> yes, Harrington. Uh, so I, I, I've been keeping an eye on the RLC, the really loving chat, uh, for the entire episode. <laughs> really loving chat. Uh, <laughs> That's what we call them here. And people are people are noticing some things about your body language, mm -hmm. Shannon. Um, they're saying they've accused you of purring a couple of times oh, over wow. the course of this episode. Uh, they said, he, well, when he said that he punched that guy through the Jeep, I, I, I felt I would have heard it, her was, purring. it was moisture. Everything's right. amplified a uh, lot, they, exponentially. They are examples. very concerned with the, with the wetness of the chair. Yes. Um, <laughs> they've noted that you are more comfortable this episode. And they've also noted uh, that for Rob to sit through that much talk about a sick cat, <laughs> uh, he must actually be somewhat interested. In <laughs> oh, look, I do love cats. I cats. have two of them. I love cats. If, if either one of my cats was, well, one of them is. He has a sick cat. Yeah, he's, he's you know, oh, easy. He's doing well. He's, I'm sorry. He's, he's doing, doing, doing great. Well. Whoa. He's, doing, he's doing great. I'm sorry. He's doing well. That's our impression. Of that. no. That's what you She was like, yeah. it's <laughs> they're both picky sick right. cats. <laughs> Wait, there it is. There it is. This is the revenge right there. Wow. <laughs> yeah, she did like the whole bodybuilding. Never. <laughs> we I've 15 years of broadcasting with Shannon. She's years. never done an impression of somebody. And she just did <laughs> she, fucking she, Donkey Kong. <laughs> that was crazy, Shannon. Wow. She, she just hit yeah, the cool hit Donkey pose. Kong with the boombox. She just hit a pose. <laughs> yeah. She just hit a bodybuilding pose. Wow. Racist. Poorly, I would buy it. Poorly, she yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was a lackluster purpose. effort. <laughs> it was a different purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Is that everything, Harrington? <laughs> Well, there was a uh, there. There at one point was a poll going about whether or not you two were secretly hooking up, <laughs> um, and it came back. I think it was uh, eighty percent in the yes. Eighty <laughs> percent. He can smell my hands right now. <laughs> no. There's nothing well, on my hands. Why would I keep something a secret from the audience? Wouldn't from it be the, more exciting if I shared? Rather than held back. I made, I, her, look at it, I made her sign an NDA, and that's like, what happened. <laughs> it does look like candle wax is on your nose. <laughs> now that I really focus in. But you can't tell if it's candle wax or something or else. There's no, way, there's, no, there's no way to know. It's yes, not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> yes, Harrington. It's not. It's not? <laughs> no, it's not that. It's not. No, I don't. I don't have anything else. That was okay. the. That's that's as far as the the chat has gone. I'm like Harrington showing off traps over there. Yeah. Just a little trap, trap, daddy. <laughs> I, I need a pee break. Can I run? <laughs> I'm like, I'm probably gonna. Well, yeah, we're gonna probably do plugs. 
Right? Can you wait to do? You can go. You can go pee. I'm going to do the pee-pee dance in three <laughs> no, seconds. You the can go pee. Dance. And, right, right, and uh, Figs and I will talk about you for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh, he loves it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I came. Oh. Figs came. Oh, my God. Wow, I think he's going to... That was a bruise. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was really hard. Is this on in the lobby? <laughs> Not no? anymore. It was very strong. That was, very, that was a very strong grip up on your shoulder. Yeah, it was very strong. It felt good. It felt good. It, it, it hurt, but it felt good. It felt, I needed it. It was a purge. <laughs> this guy's great. He's great. Yeah. Can we ask him? Can we ask him about your date? Because I did prep him for that before oh, we came it, what, in. That, if that you, might if, come up. Whatever you prepped him for, I'm okay with. Okay. I'm fine with being embarrassed. I just don't want to make him uncomfortable with what he's not comfortable. And with. you know what he said? What? Same thing about you. He said, I don't want to embarrass Aww. Shannon. That's not. That's not really what we're oh trying to God. do here. He's a good guy. <laughs> Get them to bang. How do we get them to bang? No, stop it. That would be hot. <laughs> I mean, he's we're already drinking. Fun. He stayed he's late. Drinking, he's drinking. He's, he's laughing. So, he's touching me now. This is the longest TTI episode ever. Now. Do you want to get this guy caught in traffic, or do you want to go hit a dive bar around the corner and keep <laughs> drinking? No, no, I have to go home to see a little guy, though. He's he's uh, alone too long. He'll go long. with you. Oh, it's weird. <laughs> he has a car. <laughs> oh, he's alone too long. Fucking really nice. No, by the way, I'm okay with you asking him questions, but don't. Do so suggestive stuff for after. Don't talk about. Yeah. Oh, you had a, how would you rail her? Or would you do? <laughs> what if she grabbed your wang and the candle fucking wax fell down? Okay. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> fuck! That was a strong grip, man. Sorry, man. Jesus, that poor guy's finger, dude. No, please don't do it again. Ah, 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 ah. I didn't think it'd come twice. That's how you know you're young. I had another one and another. Well, you can have a baby now, maybe. Yeah, and wow, you've, you've cured my motility and white blood cells. My semen is back. Okay. That's crazy, dude. Okay. That's crazy. Who has questions? Harrington? Yeah, so I did. Just before you guys get the plugs and get out of here, I, I we've been we've been on Shannon's case uh, probably for the last <laughs> three months or so here because it is very rare uh, that Shannon will will you know agree to go on a date with someone. You know she has she has issues with every guy in every dating app, as I'm sure the you know. Ick. She yeah, gets the ick. she gets the ick quick. Uh, so we we got on her case a bit because she told us a story about you guys going to uh -oh. get drinks together. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I might need to do a shot before we get to this. That go. was a pussy shot. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Jesus, man. Jersey. All right. All right. Shannon. Oh no, I still have. I still have. I'm good. I'm good. Look, I still have. Cheers, guys. Hey, Cheers. man, dude, you're Cheers. you're a fucking okay. great guest. I think this is the first time we ever went. I'm, uh, an hour I know 40. we are. This is maybe the longest episode. Uh, so and it flew by <laughs> And it's not over yet And it ain't over It's just getting we started We got more shit to talk about over here So yeah. Shannon told us uh, That you guys You went out Had some drinks You stayed actually Until the bar closed uh, we, we closed that place? We, they did kick us out it was just us there. It, <laughs> did they kick us out because of our behavior? No, no, no. Oh, well like, yeah. you you, you <laughs> go now. You go now. Don't leave, please. You're in trouble. You're in trouble. Get out. Asian impression. Get out. You were like, wait, you were at the ayahuasca meeting, right? You're the Land of Lakes guy. Yeah. No, I'm no butter. Stop. We do not have butter. No Land of Lakes. You ate all of Tater Tots. Leave. <laughs> and you're like, all right, brother, relax there, brother. And then you grab them. You grab them in a friendly way. And he's like, oh, no, my shoulder. You break. You pay. John Cena, you will break my trap. <laughs> Let's take a moment to talk about where my spot anyway, wh Where were we at? Sorry. Yeah. Before, before you went So you guys the... had a really nice time, and you were drinking till you were having a great conversation. <laughs> I think Shannon was a little uncomfortable that evening. Uh, you had your mitzvah? You saw no. the face? You saw the you face? Yeah, you going to Mutsi? She Wait, knows. What's the whole question? <laughs> she, she went. What's the whole question? Yeah. She went. Uh, yeah, Shannon was a little uncomfortable. I'm sorry, what was the whole question? Oh, so we got to get back to that. We got to get to that. But did you know I was do, uncomfortable do during? I, I, I sensed it, yeah. I can't bit. ever hide when I'm uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, now I can't. He can't great. stop hearing him say that now. This is great. Yeah, I can't. I can't not hear him. <laughs> you got to practice it. You could do it. I could tell your voice that you have. You can do that. You could do like you know voices. <laughs> I could. I could hear yeah, it in. He's you. trying to trap you into no, ruining your whole it. career. And 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 Asian voices is, is is tough. You got to find a word, and the word for me was double. I go double. 
Because <laughs> I would work double shifts at my fucking in, in, at Bruce Chris Steakhouse. And I just, there was one girl there. She would be like, you like I work a double shift? And I was like, yeah, double, double. double. And that helped me. It's almost with a P instead of a B. Double. Yeah, double. Like yeah. double. Anyways. All right. Yeah. Canceled. Go ahead, Mike. What was your question? <laughs> uh, so the close qu- the bar. <laughs> the question I had, you guys close the bar. You're in the parking lot. You say your good nights, right? Shannon says she's going to get an Uber or something home. <sighs> you offered to drive her home. I did. Shannon. Because I'm a gentleman. Shannon said, go fuck yourself. <laughs> You're a dickhead. I'm going to take, I'd rather pay for an Uber <laughs> than be with you Blast for five more me. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> this is not true. None of that's true. But no. please continue. No, she didn't say that, but there was subtext. It was sort of in her body language. You know, I'm kidding. I'm so, uh, you know, sort of kidding. So I made that argument that that's how that would come off if I was in your shoes. Right. <laughs> she said that it was simply because she didn't want you to go the extra 10, 15 minutes, whatever it was out of your way. Okay. Uh, who's, so, who's the potato, question for? potato. <laughs> you know, <laughs> go fuck for? yourself, or I'm being kind. I mean, no, way. I. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll say on my side, but I knew he already drove in from Jersey, and yeah. I, and he had to drive all the way back. So it's like, why do the extra 15, 20 minutes or whatever when you already have to go? Like I was just being, I was being nice about it. Like why do this whole thing? Okay. And I could just Uber home. That's that's how some people might interpret that. But how did you interpret it? I, I I'm I don't know. Do you want to have like how I, do you want me to make it funny or do you want no? Me to I, want the, I, real, I want the real. Hey guys, like, a segment of show called Real Things. <laughs> real things. That was real. Go ahead. Um, no, I mean I I could tell she was uncomfortable. Yeah. I, I felt like she was uncomfortable. She was her her body language. She was kind of like n- seemed nervous. Um, she wasn't her normal warm self that you're seeing here. She seemed a little. Mm. A little tense. She was feeling. I imagine she was trying to feel you out. Like you don't. She don't know what you, how you really felt or whatever. It was just like you know, like yeah. uh, awkwardness in a sense. I, I, everybody. It you felt know. a little like she was uncomfortable, and I didn't know if it was because um, they had been having podcast after podcast about our, you know, supposed <laughs> whatever they were mm-hmm. trying to do, mm-hmm. or, and um, the scads of content that was created around whether or not we were going to hook up or not and all this other stuff. So, I mean, I, you know, plus she's been single for, I don't know, since the last Olympics (laughs) or something. Beyond them, beyond them. Yeah. Since she's she's seen (laughs) several Olympics is a single (laughs) Olympics, Olympic, Olympi. She said several (laughs) Olympi. Since Italy won the fucking World Cup. (laughs) Back in... So so wait a second. So Shani, you said you were uncomfortable. Why were you uncomfortable? <sighs> oh, look at that. All right, I must have done something. Wait, first of all, I walked in and there was a person in there who had blonde hair from the back, and I thought it was her because. That's true. Yeah, there was some woman. I don't know. I got there and I'm like, she lives three seconds up the street, and I'm like driving. So I get there and I was like, oh hey, and this woman was like, oh, she looked like I was trying to mug her or something. <laughs> So more uncomfortable like, than me, that ooh, lady. Yeah, she was a lot more uncomfortable than Shannon. <laughs> I, I read body language. There was nothing subtle Did you about see this. this and be she like, oh, grabbed no, her no, purse no. like she thought I was going to rob her or something. I was like, all right, relax. You're not that cute. It's like for real. So no, he told me before I got there. Oh, that's, that's funny. That that's a funny yeah. icebreaker. Like, yeah, yeah. That yeah. Lady. By the way, I just sexually assaulted someone that I don't know at all. I grabbed her titty because I thought it was you. <laughs> and or, then it was, or figs. Hey, hey, or figs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I don't want to grab his titty. He grabbed his own for enough for both of us. I'm pretty tonight. sure I'm bruised right now on my shoulders. But yeah, hey, we'll talk about that. I'll send an invoice to Ralph. But <laughs> yeah, Ralph, I'm not paying the medical bill on that. Yeah. But, uh, I've paid but enough medical bills in my life. We're good. Why are you uncomfortable? Just jitters, dun, like normal dun, jitters, meeting yeah. a person, dun. hanging out. <laughs> I also feel like there was like I, feel like, I feel like the problem was, I feel like the bonfire really made me very uncomfortable. Okay. Because uh, there was a whole thing where they uh, um, called me. Bonfire. <laughs> yes. The bonfire, they, they called me on air, and they were like, oh, do you know that? Uh, <laughs> I didn't know that. I told oh I told I, you. I should listen to these things. <laughs> yes, no. Because I, I never know what the hell's going on. I'm like, well, yeah, we're just going to. No, yeah, th- millions so, of yes. people are, you know. All right. So I told you that the day before just because I knew it was going to be a whole thing. So they were like, oh, do you know who's coming in tomorrow? And I was like, yes, because you told me that you guys were going to perform. And then they're like, are you coming in? And I'm like, no. And it was just like, it was a whole. They're like, yeah, he fucked up. (laughs) She's not coming in. She doesn't want to come see him perform. No, but it was a whole weird thing. Because they were like, why aren't you coming? And I was like, because he told me they were performing. But if he didn't say you should come in, if I just show up, like, then I'm like a crazy stalker. But if I'm I'm like, you have to come here. Then I'm like that guy that's like, it was a weird thing. It was, it was a weird thing. It was a set of the fail What's so funny, what's so funny. Being like Shannon's pal and and sh- hearing Shannon talk about this stuff 
everything that I said to her is exactly what you're saying. In my def- like in defense, where like, well, he probably didn't know what to do. Well, he probably doesn't want to seem this way, or he probably doesn't want that. You're just confirming it. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm a guy and you're a guy. We yeah, both have it's testes. just you know. It's, but also, I understand Shannon's point where you don't trust the person, or or you know, you don't know. And I it's don't also, want to be a crazy. You person. don't want to be crazy. You don't want to seem weird. But that it, when one person doesn't want to seem weird and the other person doesn't want to seem weird, they start like pushing each other away, which sucks. Until they finally realize that wait, we're both cool and we both. <laughs> Could do a two-hour podcast and we could both <laughs> synchronize. You know what I mean? So where's this going, bro? Wrap it up. <laughs> Anyways, uh huh, uh huh. Finally let got me you. Show, let, me, let, me, <laughs> let me just see that tattoo one more time. <laughs> Harrington, do you have so something? The I'm only, touch it. the only thing I wanted to know: Did Shannon blow her clothes? What? Did she blow who? <laughs> like, was it? Was this was a that the waiter's name? What? <laughs> I don't know. I have clothes. I am clothes. She blow me. Don't blow me. Hey, cash. Don't want to be blown. <laughs> Oh no! Blow me! I don't think Shannon blew anybody. I don't know. <laughs> definitely didn't blow me. <laughs> I don't think she blew anybody that night. <laughs> oh <boy. It's> just. <laughs> I mean, oh she took her own Uber home. We went to our separate quarters. <laughs> our separate quarters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She, she went her way. I went mine. Nobody got blown. I, what she did after I left her, I don't know. I can. I can't be held responsible for that. Who's quarters anyway? Is that like someone's nickname? <laughs> no. Uh, are you gonna get deeper, Mike, or shall I? <laughs> no, I was gonna. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I yeah, I figured you guys didn't want to. Shannon, yes or no? One. What's the question? Oh no, I'm saying I, I could, I could. Did you I blow could quarters? I didn't blow quarters. I could, ela- I could, I know what she Mike blew is bubbles. trying to say. I didn't blow any quarters. I know <laughs> what Mike is trying to say, but I don't want to. I'm gonna be a good boy. Come on, Vegs. Okay, so so you guys had a little smooch. <laughs> Well, I, listen. You're not gonna have a That's whole nice, thing. Nice you know, it was it was. It was a nice smooch. It, it, it was it was just a. It was not a peck, but so it wasn't a like. So uh, what Mike was saying know. was Mike was saying that did, did Shani did Shani kind of make you feel? So did Shannon make you feel like you that she was like didn't want? Little, to... yeah. I mean, okay. I don't know. It, it just felt a little. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna murder me. <laughs> no, she's gonna murder me. Well, uh, you're I'm, fine. I'm right hey, there. Dude, you're I'm, per- I'm on dude, the firing line. You're too. perfect. Did you see? She was propping her head up in her hand. She was like, "I'm Every murdering both of them." Everything you're saying is perfect, dude. I you're have, cool I have a hit suave guy. Last episode of the thing. Is. I have a hit prepared <laughs> for both of you, motherfuckers, right now. That's so fun, man. That's yeah. so fun. No, you guys. So. I think you guys are great as people. As, <laughs> as, as people and I'm drinking and I feel like I feel the unity with everybody here <laughs> and I feel cool and, and I'm yeah. craving Lando Lakes with a nice small Lando Lakes. toast yeah I don't I, I don't blame you yeah. wait so are you drunk already well I have no food in my body today re- <laughs> could, because of Ramadan <laughs> yeah because of Rosh Hashanah oh should we should we <laughs> test your blood Rosh- alcohol level Rosh- that thing stinks I think stinks, Shannon. Because people have been breathing it in it for fucking. <laughs> Let that's me why it stinks. File my taxes, Multiple pay my debts. Pieces. Oh, but yeah. still, people are going. Oh. <laughs> people are. <laughs> people are drinking it. it and then blowing They're it going, right <laughs> after. <laughs> Did somebody get like a point point like eight? I, <laughs> I had like a point two four yeah. at the very beginning. Point for two no four. Reason. She just the, took a shot and went right I, I'm for I'm going to say there's probably a reason. No, it was it was like five, no, it was five just, minutes. It was five minutes. The pressure's getting better. <laughs> so if you hold the mic like this, and you go, oh, well, no, actually, what happened was I tell you a lot. I didn't do anything. I don't even know. And what is happening Oh, here? my God. Harrington. <laughs> Harrington, My yes. favorite episode by far. <laughs> the episode names would be Fig, fig in, in Joy. Last episode yeah, of last, <laughs> for The last episode ever because we have gotten ourselves canceled like Kanye <laughs> Multiple times over. We could do a part one, part two. Oh, that's true. Part one, yes, part Harrington. two. They're yeah, probably gonna. They're probably gonna remove all my social media now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all of the <laughs> retard comments and the stuff about the. the Somebody shiksas, make a clip where it's where it's just like the mix, retard. The mikvah, retard. Land the retard. mikvah and the shiks, shiksas, shiksos, all that. Bad news. Uh, so I, I I wasn't saying anything. I was just giving you the the wrap it up sign because I did say as long as you want, but I didn't think two hours was going to be as long. You didn't as think you we're going to go until <laughs> the next Olympics. <laughs> My boy lasts long over here. My boy. All right, we're going to touch me. I'll, 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 I'll bump on that. Are you like the guy from America's Got Talent? Or you don't like to touch people. You don't, you, no, you no, no, I, I, I mean I'll touch you, but not like that. I just touched the fuck out of you a minute ago. My nipples are still hard. He's going to take that. I'll touch you home with him today. Babe, you'll never believe it. Mr. I'll touch Olympus. the fuck out of you, a bro. Real live Mr. <laughs> Olympus said I had nice Mr. traps. Olympus. It's Mr. Universe, not Mr. Some Olympus. Some Albanian guy. Mother. Mr. Albany. Right, Get it straight. Mr. One more shot. One more shot for 
friends and family. Right, and... I got a little, I got a little space. There, there you go. Got space. <laughs> <laughs> little space. Just a splash. I have, to home. Have, to be, I have to go home tuned up now. Thank I you. To, I have to be good to little oh, guy when I get home. Hang, hang, you know, what, 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 I, I think be... you'll be even better to him if you're a little <laughs> yes. tuned up. I can't be drunk to him. <laughs> he won't know. <laughs> He's gonna be like, you know, Shannon's there. Hell no. Let me ask you a question. Let me yeah. ask you a question. Off the record. Oh boy. Right, Wait, off the record. Off the mics. Off the mics. Cut the mics. Shannon, as if she ever hit you up, my fucking face is a pain in the ass. Fucking kid. She fucking. He drives me. He's lady. Thinks he's got an ego. He's fucking an fat. E- you have an eagle. Yeah, he has an eagle. Oh, it's like John Cena. He's like wheelie eagly. You don't know that. Uh, Peacemaker. You know that? He doesn't watch any of the No, I, 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 I avoid it. He deleted like Paramount Plus. Hey, it's the only time we've ever connected on a reference. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the only time ever. Maybe the show will do one more episode. <laughs> Maybe one more. <laughs> That's it. One more. Oh, should we ask? The magic eight ball something before we end? Don't give it to me, mommy. <laughs> Don't give it to me because my question is going to make it real weird. It's going to make it real weird. So no, 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 you can do it, Poppy. You hit it. You hit it, Daddy. Hit it. Uh, that side of the table. One of you guys. Before we do plugs. One of you what guys. Kind of, what kind of plug are you doing? We're doing plug, plugging, plugging dates. Oh, plugs. Let's media. go. Comic Mike Figs. You guys get that. No, 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 no. There you go. You have to ask the. Uh, I got to ask it first? Thing. Yeah. All right. Will Shannon get fucking railed <laughs> oh, out in the Jesus next Christ. month? Here we go. Will Shannon railed get out. banged out? <laughs> what if she just wants like ten in a room with shelving? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have shelves in my room. <laughs> Outlook not so good. <laughs> Hot wax in the eyes. You don't want that anyway. No, and I don't have shelves in my bedroom. You don't have. You don't have shelves. I don't have shelves. Because we can't afford it. We need to get the <laughs> yes. foot cam. That's a whole other thing. It's a whole other thing. Wait, so I heard rumors about this. Yeah. We try to we try to make some more cash. And the way to do it is to get a foot cam. Every episode we have a little Not foot camera that. and she does her feet really nice. She's got nice feet and she does a fucking little manicure stuff like that, French pedicure. Is that true? I keep putting it on the table and Shannon keeps taking it off the table. And I mean, you almost broke the table. Is this <laughs> is this confirmed that you so you've seen them there? Yeah, she's got nice feet. Well, right. she, well, she, we, she's been on the beach and stuff, and I, my screen shot of the photos. <laughs> put them on the no, in the power hour, he saw them. But power hour, we gave the fans an opportunity. <laughs> I almost all, did another all, impression. You would hate me. We all took our feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> you can't get me drinking. He saw them. All. <laughs> he <laughs> saw <laughs> all ten of my toes. Yeah, no. You're from Jersey. You I, know me the too, accent. Me too. Yeah, I do. Well, yeah, I grew up with it. Say so, coffee. I'm just teasing. Okay. Coffee. Coffee. Water. Dog. Coffee. Walk. Say say, hilarious. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I know I said that properly. I know I did. Yeah. Hilarious. Like, I hilarious. think I say hilarious. Hilarious. Fucking, hilarious. fucking asshole. <laughs> it's not. It's. I don't say asshole. I say asshole. You fucking asshole. Fucking asshole. 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 It's I fucking asshole. hilarious. He's a fucking asshole. He's a fucking yeah. asshole. You say Pacific or specific? I say specific. I um, say Pacific. No, Pacific sometimes. is only like I'm sorry, retarded people. <laughs> wow. <laughs> She's, and now Shannon's no, canceled. Watch- <laughs> we have officially canceled everyone on the entire. The thing is, the thing is, we're all canceled. The thing is, we're canceled. The thing is, the show doesn't exist anymore because the. <laughs> Mike is in there like this. The, yes. the, the, the retards and the Jews are outside. And they're like, <laughs> yeah, no more. Wow. Okay. Salute. Right. That was oh. great. Yeah. Great episode. Do it. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Salute. Cheers, everybody. Clink, clink. Clink. You can't clink with plastic. <laughs> All right. We're going to do plugs. Ah. Figs. Plugs. At Comic Mike Figs. I'm either at the stand or the comic strip. This week, I, if you're watching now, I'll be at the stand. I mean, at the comic strip. Friday, two shows. Saturday, two shows. Come on by. We're having a lot of fun. I get crazy on stage. Come on by. Um, at Comic Mike Figs. Follow the YouTube. We just did a TikTok and ASMR, and it Shannon hated it, but I it actually, it. I think it's going to make some crazy clips. We're trying so to break bad. the internet. Uh, fuck yeah, at Comic Mike Figs. Rob, anything you like to plug? <clears throat> <laughs> for real or can i make jokes no um generation kill uh generation generation kill the real is the name of the you know social media thing uh we have an album out called mk ultra on all streaming platforms go listen to it there's you know youtube videos there's all kinds of that thing my my social media uh, uh, at rob com. y-o-u-e-l-l-s you know say hello that's all 
Uh, you can go. follow me on Instagram at shannonlee6982. I hate doing plugs at the end. I wish we could do it at the beginning. It's such a whole thing. I'm watching it. You're because I just totally didn't. <laughs> I went. I wung that. Yes. If you're winging, are you? Did you wung it in the past tense? <laughs> yeah, I wung it. All right, we wung. I wung. I wung. Yeah, I totally wung that. All right, uh, go on. Sorry. Oh fuck. Oh gross. <laughs> <laughs> he just like vomited in his mouth a little <laughs> bit in the middle of Shannon's plugs. <laughs> so disgusting. Uh, wherever you listen to the thing is, uh, you can watch it live for free. <laughs> What's with the bell? Oh, dude. I don't know the bell. Dude, here's the funniest <laughs> oh, thing. Tell I'm not to cut you off. So when she says the thing is, or anyone says the thing is, she hits the bell. The thing but what, is. But what's, but what's, it's domestic abuse. Domestic abuse. <laughs> but what's hilarious, though, oh, man, one time we had, we had this guy named Kareem Green. Kareem. A hilarious black Kareem comic. Kareem Green. Kareem Green. He's not a player for the Supersonics. Okay. He was just a regular comic. And he didn't know. He had no idea. He did no research. No idea. She starts hitting the bell. He's like, "What the hell's wrong with this girl? You got autism?" <laughs> yeah, she got? <laughs> Wait, I, I, I was thinking it was like the Breaking Bad guy. <laughs> That's Green Green. <laughs> He's like, "Hey, <laughs> man!" I was like, "I'm on the show." The, the guy, she keeps hitting the bell. Like, what the fuck? The hell going on? So, What's she trying to do? Like, he was like, "So I'm gonna bring like this up." Retarded. I want to say this to you because so I did open mic night. I did a comedy thing. Okay. And I said to her because. My sister has been. I routinely make her wet her pants. Like whenever I see her, I start getting her laughing. She runs to the bathroom. I think I follow. I think I, think no, I watched no. that on Pornhub today. No, no. Make All right, skip bro. Wet my but pants. I get her to laugh so hard that she's got to run. Th- anyway, so <laughs> she kind of dared me, and you know, sisters, you know, yeah, they dare you to do didn't something. Didn't make Send it to me. Hate I want to watch. By the way, didn't make me so, hate him. So okay. when we first started chit chatting, yeah, that's a big thing because yeah. usually it's fucking cringe. When we so were chatting, chat- well, so yeah, we were we were chit chatting, and I mentioned, and she was like. Send it to me. I was like, all right. So, and, and then she was like, oh my God, I actually laughed out loud several times. And I was like, you did? Like, for real? She's like, yeah, no, no. I was hoping that I didn't cringe and I did. And, it, you know, I didn't cringe or no, whatever. Anyway, so my sister has been after me and I, 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 I had fun doing it. And I've, I have a comedy notes, you know, whenever you think it, you say something funny and you're like, that might be like, a joke. Yeah. That's a joke. That's and good. so I have a whole, See, I have to. I had to like kind of make sure that I put context in there because like, bag of hammered snake dicks, and I'm like, I know a place where they would love you, and it'll be a great place for you to get on stage and keep fucking doing it. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you after the show. All right, we'll do that later. Yeah, 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 yeah. The All comic right. strip, but it's a, it's, it's my, my, one of my mentors. <laughs> I'll tell you after the show, it's Gladys, the comic strip. Gladys, <laughs> Simon, because we're Gladys going on Simon. four hours now. <laughs> yeah, like, oh. This is the, this is the power of four hours. <laughs> You're gonna do it. You're, you, if you want, if you got the bug, man, this would be the perfect spot. I They'll love you. They'll eat you up, and you, and you'll really develop. And uh, honestly, every time I turn around, I'm like, and I'm listening to something, and they're talking about like, this is the time to do. This. this is the and I'm like yeah why not man? I feel like they're talking to me I'm like fuck man yeah because it's fun it was cool it was you know I I really the thing about musicians that, in comedy dude it's like you know every comic wants to be a musician every musician wants to be a comic, but it and it's, it's it mixes it meshes well well here's the thing is like so you're in a band you're playing music and music is very esoteric music is very specific we'll get to your plugs in a minute Shannon go ahead sorry <laughs> sorry anyway. yeah, it's very it's very esoteric it's very specific and you know if you even if you like the genre sometimes it just you know I don't like the singer or mm-hmm. I don't like this mm-hmm. but with comedy really all you have to do is make people fucking laugh and you may not like the person you may not like what but if you're laughing you're like fuck that guy was funny mm-hmm. so it's very instant gratification, which I'm all about. Mm-hmm. And, you know, either you're funny or you're not. And mm-hmm. it gives you a chance. And you're funny in the moment. So mm-hmm. you may not have been funny last night, but if you tweak it and, you know, tonight you can be fucking funny. And you got to be ready to, you got to have a thick skin in a way. You got to yeah. be ready to eat dick and you got to be ready to try again. I mean, I don't really know if I want to eat any dick. But you know what I mean. But after uh, our, you know, I know. Thick skin like little guy's intestines. Yes. Oh, <laughs> yes. We're back to the micrometer. Yeah, that cost $900. Nine hundred dollars for thick intestines. Wherever you watch the show, you can also watch. <laughs> <laughs> it live. Right. Back to the plugs. <laughs> you can watch live every single the Tuesday. Thing is. <laughs> oh boy! Oh, what boy. the fuck? How does that even? Oh. The thing is, you just <laughs> wait. Is it... So that has been going on the whole show. Yes. yes so let me ask you a question. Let's say you're banging someone in this room who's not me, and they go and they and you're, and you're in a heated moment. They go, "The thing is, will you?" Oh, the be thing like, is, you will you be like, making oh, me so hard. The bell. Oh God, the thing is, it feels so good. Shannon. You're gonna go, wait, I gotta, ah. Shannon. You might be on the spectrum. The thing is, you're yeah. on the spectrum, Shannon. You can watch every single Tuesday at 4 p.m. Eastern at GasDigital.com. Use promo code TTI14. You will get a 14-day free trial, which gives you access to every single episode of this show we've ever done, as well as every single episode of every show on the Gas Digital Network. Do you have a question to ask the Magic Eight Bowl, Rob? 
Oh, don't no, continue. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, checked you on that. She did. Because I'm, I'm mixing it up. Because I might ask Put down a the secret toys, question. Robert. I might ask a secret question. <laughs> Uh, if you uh, <laughs> listen on uh, iTunes or YouTube, make sure to rate, review, subscribe, leave a comment, tell a friend. Every little bit of interaction helps the show to grow. Shout out to the dinner table that watches live in our YouTube premiere. Uh, if you have uh, questions or your own stories to submit, uh, send it into the thing is podcast at gmail.com. And uh, I think that's it. <laughs> I think we did everything. It's a great episode. Do you have a secret great question? Double episode. <laughs> it was, but it was secret. That was private. And, and what's the answer? answer? <clears throat> the answer was, um, answer. It, it said <laughs> it, something hazy. Try again. <laughs> Which is the cop out bullshit answer. That's yeah. like you know. That's the gypsy that goes ten, yeah, yeah. thirty <laughs> no, more dollars and buy a pair of socks. Someone put a really heavy curse on. We need another fifteen hundred dollars <laughs> yeah. immediately. You need to take the sock home and soak it in vinegar and stick it under your bed and then have dreams and then bring it back to me. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for listening. Thank you, Rob, for being a guest on the show. Thank you for having me. Dude, well, knuckle it up. <laughs> oh, I can't reach you. Oi. She goes, oi. <laughs> I didn't say that. We'll be back next week. Bye, guys. Bye.